Hello, welcome back to. Ah, I did it again. <laughs> I can hear myself. Uh, one second. Okay. Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are building Nicolay Bay, and it wouldn't be a stream without me screwing up. <laughs> so, thank you all so much for joining uh, tonight. There's 500 of us here right now, which is really exciting. I always appreciate the strong support that we have uh, for the streams. I see B Squigglehausen in here. Woo! Uh, so lots of lots of familiar faces in here. Uh, we're gonna start out the way we always do. I want to know where everyone is right now. So where where are you? Uh, where are you watching from? Obviously, I'm in Madison. It's 8:30 for me. Kids are uh, almost in bed. <laughs> so let's see. Where's everyone from? New York City, UK, because you can't sleep. <laughs> Luke, <laughs> I'm sorry you can't sleep, but I'm glad you're here with us. Uh, Austin, Texas, Texas. 500 people here, but only 107 likes. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Minnesota, Toronto, uh, Florida, Orlando, Scranton, Pennsylvania, Hudson, Wisconsin. Beautiful city. Switzerland. That's amazing. Jacksonville, Ottawa, Ontario. That's a place I want to visit. New South Wales, Seattle, Long Island, Jacksonville, Huntley, Sydney. Wow. Houston, Houston, Vancouver, Phoenix, DC, Seattle, Spain, Dallas. Now it's coming in. Now it's coming in. Los Angeles, Tampa, Montreal, Spain, Billings, Montana. Holy cow. Alabama. Oh, Luke, thank you so much for the support. From Japan, originally from Green Bay. Uh, have I ever been to Japan? No, but I actually know someone who is from Green Bay who is currently in Japan. So that is a crazy coincidence. <laughs> so that is cool. And he actually speaks Japanese. I do not. But it's uh, it's J Japan's definitely on my bucket list. It's, a, it's definitely a cool place. Texas, Eagle River, Wisconsin. Eagle River. I love Eagle, Eagle River. I'll actually be not too far from you. Uh, in, in this this next weekend, Denver, Victoria, Colorado, UK, ready for bed. <laughs> Worldwide, Georgia, Yorkshire, Missouri. Well, thank you all, Madison. Thank you. I see another Madisonian in here. Uh, thank you all so much for being here with me. So we're gonna do a couple of things tonight that I think are gonna be really fun. First of all, this bridge is absolutely crazy. I pulled in some assets to try to fix this. <laughs> we're gonna do. Uh, something I haven't really done before. I practiced a little bit yesterday. I want to make a custom bridge. This is either going to be amazing or a total disaster. So we're going to see. Then we're going to come way over here. And I, I've seen enough comments to know that we don't love the lights. But I, I'm going to do a poll. One last poll just to make sure that we're all on the same page. And then I want to come back over here and go through the city and remove, oh, whoa, whoa, we got flashy stuff. Uh, remove some of the crazy billboards. Uh, I think maybe the best one actually is over here. We take a look. Oh, we're all out of business. <laughs> there was one of those, oh, right here. It, it, was a, it was a gas station that was working, but for whatever reason, foul oil always goes out of business for me, but they've got this terrible, terrifying <laughs> clown, Uncle Sam the Clown or whatever, and I just, we got to get rid of stuff like that. We're going to go through the vehicles too and get rid of those. Uh, the vehicles anyway that are, are crazy like the donut van. Even though we do have the production for this. And then I might I'm going to solicit some feedback from all of you. Uh, things that we should modify to make the build a little bit better. Things that I might have missed along the way. This is the very first time that we have streamed Nicolay Bay. And I know that there have been some concerns that I have been neglecting the other series a little bit. And I, I figure I'll tell you what's kind of been going on in my life a little bit too. So recently I've just been uh, very, very busy at work uh, and I've been editing a ton and uh, trying to learn how to be a better editor. So I've been spending more time in the edits. So that was one of the reasons I wanted to stream tonight is I thought that it would be nice to just kind of do something a little bit different, uh, give myself a, a little bit of time to just talk with all of you because I feel like I haven't been able to be in, in, as involved in the community as I like to be. So, um, you know, it's one of those things that uh, when I had an editor, I was in the Discord often, a few nights a week, um, and I haven't been in the Discord for a while now. So this will be a way that I can I can hopefully uh, supplement that. And hopefully over, over the next little while, when I have a bunch of time off, 
I can then be a little more active. <laughs> so uh, let's see. I want to know what everyone is drinking tonight. And I'm not sure what I'm going to drink. I actually have two different drinks in front of me. So I have Smithwick's, uh, Smithwick's and Son Ireland Red Ale. And I have a New Glarus Bubbler, which is absolutely awesome. That said, which one do you guys think I should have? Neither are open yet, so I want to know. Sheepdog, finally finally got you live. Thank you. Glad you're here. Banana Man, thank you so much. In fact, I'm going to hop in. I'm here. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I see Diet Cokes. That's a good one. I like Diet Coke. That's my favorite non-alcoholic drink. Water. I have a water as well. Ginger beer. Nice. Tomato sauce. <laughs> Open the Irish. First one, the Bubbler. Smithwick's. Bubbler. PBR. I'm going to do a poll. We'll do a poll. I, and then part of this is so I can remember how to do polls. Because <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do a number of polls tonight. So let's see, we'll start a poll and we'll say Bubbler or Smithwick's. Bubbler. Smithwick's. There we go. We'll see how this works. And I like both, so I'm, I'm good with either. Root Beer, Sprite, Michelob Ultra, Root Beer, Smithwick's. Is that someone else having a Smithwick's or just suggesting it? Ooh, it's 50-50. Coke Zero Tea. My wife's having a tea right now. I've been having a lot of tea lately. Ooh, that song is loud. We'll skip, we'll skip that one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Eggnog. I love eggnog. Sprite doesn't drink beer. That's fine. Let's see. Good evening, Jacob Robinson. Thank you for being here. European moment. What are we? Th what are these these things? So Smithwick's is actually an Irish beer. Uh, it's it's delicious. It's a red ale. And New Glarus is a beer from about 30 miles from where I live. <laughs> so A and W, delicious. So I think I think Smithwick's is, is gonna win. We've got about a quarter of you guys who have voted. And I'm I'm satisfied with that. That works for me. That works for me. So I'm gonna end this and then we're going to get building. So Smithwick's it is. I'm going to pop it open. All right. All right. Let's get building, shall we? So the very first thing I want to do is show you exactly what we're what we're looking at. And actually maybe it maybe it makes some sense to provide some perspective and see what this looks like in real life. So right here <laughs> i pulled this up just before the stream there have been some folks that have said well why not just make the bridge smaller add an island in the middle uh the main reason is because in reality that's not like that so this is the real area that the map is based on obviously we're quite a bit different this is mackinaw mackinaw island uh we have a little community right here and then here is the bridge and you can see that the bridge has two of these towers and that's about it. And it's much higher in the center. There's some larger pillars in a couple of locations. So this is kind of what I'm thinking. We will do something that's a little more minimal and hopefully not quite so bright and crazy. So that's that's the uh, that's the goal. So with that in mind, I picked up some assets. Now, this is something that when I originally created this map, I gave a lot of thought to um, whether or not I should bring assets in for this particular part of the build. And the reason why I wasn't really sure is I wanted this to be as vanilla as possible. And then, you know, it's funny. Bon Bon reviewed the map and he brought up a really good point. You have to use 81 tiles for this. I mean, you could get away with not doing it, but the map's not really as fun without it, which means that it's not really vanilla anyway. And I could have brought in one asset to make it better. So this is something that I might offer up a second revision to the map with whatever we do tonight. Um, yes, Beast Wiggle has a longer, uh, larger and longer than the Golden Gate, built by the same company too. See? 
Yes, yeah, nightmare that the uh, the bridges in vanilla are mad bright. They're absolutely crazy. Uh, let's see. So what we're gonna do? Yes, it is a very long bridge. What we're gonna do is take a look at some of these assets. And if we look in, I've grabbed a couple of these custom towers that we can add. Ooh, <laughs> we have support for uh, financial districts. Great. So I'm gonna place a couple of these, and then I think we're gonna have a poll where. We take a look and narrow it down. Now I have, let's see, I think I have too many options for a poll. So we might need to do it in two halves. So for all of these, what I think we would do is grab these and use, use these, well, some of these maybe twice, some of them more than twice. Like this one right here, we might need to use a few times. So that's what we would do. You know, I don't, so I see that Trailblazer doesn't, it says cities on, on console sucks. I don't agree with that, actually. I think that there's something nice about how predictable it is. So that is something, oh, Milton, thank you so much for offering uh, five gifted memberships. And if you are a member, definitely check out the community tab. There are, there's a link to all of the save files and I post new episodes early. And I'm going to tell you that the next two weeks is going to be interesting so here are all of the different towers that we can build the bridge around so what i think we're going to do i'm going to see how many uh options i can put in and i'm going to use numbers so what we're going to do is potentially break this in half and then i'll pick the top two from each of the halves and we'll pit them up against against one another so i see one two three four five Six. Maybe you can get six options. Let me see. I'll see if I can do six. So we'll, we'll start a poll. Or uh, four. I could do four max. So save which one. So we're doing the first three. So I want. We're only going to talk about these three. One, two, and three. So we'll say save which one. One, two, three. All right. Adventures of Two, thank you so much for the super chat. That's super generous. Uh, for the Phil Retirement Fund, thank you for the dedication and humor as a content creator. I really appreciate that. Uh, you know, really, I am very, very lucky. I, I, I don't think I've, I don't think I can restate that enough. Being a content creator is a blast. And it's a blast because of all of you. It's really a privilege and an honor to be able to create content for all of you to have the camaraderie and to see 800 and six 904 of you in here right now uh getting together and playing city skylines on a friday night hanging out i really really love it all right so we've got the three of these and right now it looks like three is pulling out to a lead we've got about a third a little over a third of everyone has voted i want to get to half so once I see 450, we're going to end it and move on to the next three. Three suits the older, more rural vibe. So I won't say anything. I won't say anything. I can't. I can't say anything. <laughs> um, oh, no. Let's see that Stanley Elms stream was five minutes behind. Still on the alcohol pole. <laughs> well, we've got the Smithwicks and I'm enjoying it. I think you guys made a solid choice there. Ooh, Nathan is actually in the UP. Welcome. I, I had a Cornish pasty for lunch. That was uh, that was my my find of the day at the grocery store. They, uh, they said I'm local from Milwaukee, frozen Cornish pasties. Otherwise, I'd like to go to Joe's if you know where that is. Um, and then there's a place in Sheboygan that I like to get them, load up on them. Let's see. A B school to housing. Isn't it? I didn't realize you were you're Oakland. Both you and Diana. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, split it. All right. I think that we are good. It's three. We are doing three. So we're going to end this. Nate, thank you so much for the super chat. Hi, Phil. Love the new series. I really appreciate that. This has been, I'm going to be just completely honest with you. I love this series. This has been the most fun build that I've had in a long time. And that's another reason why I think I've gravitated towards this one a little bit uh jessica quigley thank you for becoming an associate planner and colin garvey thank you for becoming an associate planner so that's one of the reasons why i've gravitated towards this build is it's just been super fun for me um 
So this is gonna be four, five, six. And I will get that poll up. Chris Carlberg, thank you so much for the super chat. Hi, Phil. Would you consider adding an accessible park for disabled citizens to one of your builds? I owe you that. We talked about that. I remember that. Yes, I will consider that. You gave me some literature and I need to do that. So thank you so much. Very generous super chat. And I will get that on my list. Gabriel, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Jesse Harris, thank you for becoming an associate planner as well. Welcome, welcome. And don't forget to check out the community page so you can get access to all the saves. Let's get this poll up because I'm a, I'm definitely excited to get going on this. So save which one? We'll add four, five, and six. There we go. And I'm seeing it. Oh, I've seen some fives in there. LH, hi, Phil. I've watched you for two years, every video, and love it. Thank you so much, LH. That that really means a lot to me. I, It's kind of wild that it's, it's been two years. <laughs> the time really flies. It really does. Uh, if left to right is six. So, yes, this is four, five, six. So, this was three before, four, five, six. Uh, five and six. Five is too large. I don't know. It's It's definitely a big bridge. So... If there's any bridge that could support it, it's probably this one. But it looks like six is running away with it. We got 1,018 people in here right now. So I want to see at least 500. We're close. And it looks like six is going to take it. Hmm. Smithwick's was a great choice. <laughs> uh, five is too modern. I, I, you know, I could see that. So this to me looks like a showpiece. And I'm wondering, is that Duan Bridge? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I missed one. I missed one. That's funny. All right, well, that's okay. <laughs> that one's huge. <laughs> All right, I see we have over 506 wins it. So we are going to take six and three and line them up so let's get rid of these and there are our two options let's add our final poll which one three or six Oh, I see some sevens. <laughs> seven looks amazing. Did I screw up? <laughs> Should I have left seven? Okay, 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 okay. We're going to pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. I'm going to add seven. I'm going to add seven. We can take a look. So this will be an honorable mention. Let's see if let's see if seven... We'll, we'll see if seven gets some love. Let's go ahead and move it. We'll move this one over here. Ooh, there we go. So this was seven. And I left that one out. Seven is... Cantal, Cantal Bridge. So let me add in a poll. Start a live poll. Which one? Three. Well, I'll just do one, two, or three. One, two, or three. So this will be one, two, and three. So let's see. Seven, yeah, seven or three now is huge. <laughs> So let's see, two, I got, wow, 111 votes immediately. Peter Heyer, thank you so much for gifting 10 City Planner Plays memberships. If you do not have the feature enabled to receive memberships, I highly encourage you to do that because it's the only way you can get them. And I do not know how to do it because I've never seen that side. I don't know, well, I've, I've seen that side. I watch streams, but generally I, I've never actually set that up. <laughs> so. <laughs> And it looks like two is running away with it. But I'm going to give you guys a couple more couple more minutes. And we'll see if seven wins. My day is ruined. Seven. Seven. So that seven is number three. That one is actually in second place. It's pretty wild. Pretty wild. Wasn't seven one, was it? Well, maybe it was. Maybe I screwed up. It's one of these. I missed one of these. I don't know which one. Maybe. I guess maybe it was seven. I think we're good. We know which one. And that is this one right here. It's the winner. So I was going to say that when I tested this, 
I tested with this one. <laughs> so I was getting I was getting a little bit excited, but it is it is small. So that is certainly a concern. So let's get rid of that and this and grab this. And we're just going to move it on over here for the time being. Just place it there. Now for this bridge, I think that there's a few interesting things that we can do. So first of all, let's minimize this. We're going to take the whole bridge and just convert it down. And one of the things that we need to figure out, first of all, we should figure out if we need to change our highway. So what I mean by that is I don't know if this is going to fit nicely in between or if we're going to need to. Yeah. So this one is close. It's oh so close. So what we might need to do would be to actually use a different road for the highway. So I could go with a for you road of some other type, something like this, and then increase the speeds. Or I could just live with this. Maybe I'll ask your advice on that for that one once we get there. So we could go either way. It's going to be a learning process and it's going to be a, we're going to need to guess and check a little bit. But the very first thing we need to do is get rid of all of these crazy towers. So let's go ahead and get these upgraded or downgraded, depending on how you're looking at it. Let's see. Banana man. Thank you so much for uh, moderating. I really appreciate that. Let's not, let's not make it too difficult for banana man tonight. If we can keep it friendly, keep it, uh, keep it uh just just be nice <laughs> just, just be nice and no spamming things i have noticed on the channel in general especially since the, the financial dlc just an increase in overall spam um i haven't seen a lot of crypto hawking on the channel up until this uh last little while and then honestly when the channel hit 400,000, i started seeing a lot of extra spam as well you had pylons too hi there by the way oh hi banana man yeah the pylons i'll have to figure that out that's why seven was better oh isn't there a mod to rescale things yeah procedural objects <laughs> well it might be dangerous to put it in there like i had it but at least it'll encourage people to go to speed that is true that is friction and that is a good thing uh, so I've missed a couple of super chats. Free, uh, Reagan Freeman, thank you for becoming an associate planner. Adventures of Two Wheel Tim, thank you for becoming an associate planner. I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate the support. And Gregory Heater, can you change the color of the bridge supports with Bob? Potentially. It's an interesting idea. One of the things I do want to change, and we're going to test this out. I don't know if we can, is now that we've got this, yeah, we're going to change the lights on the bridge. I think that's going to be a fun thing to do to make it look just a little bit different. It's still very bright. Um, so we'll, we'll see what we can do. And let me see, did you check the new bridges at night to make sure they're not super bright too? I did take a look at them. We're only adding in two of these. This one actually, oh, I didn't realize. This one actually doesn't have any lights at all. So we're gonna need to add our own, which is no big deal. We can definitely do that. Definitely, definitely do that. Uh, like a madman, <laughs> CPP is in paused. I'm not in paused. I'm good. I'm, I'm still rolling. Looks like the stream health is good. So if it's cutting out, it's not on my end, I hope. Oh, it's getting a little choppy for everybody. Huh? I will see if there's anything yeah, on my end. It says it's excellent. So hopefully this isn't, this doesn't become a thing. Oh, ooh, I am noticing I'm dropping a ton of frames. Let me see if there's anything I can do to fix this. I don't know why I would be dropping so many frames. Hmm. All right, one second. I'm going to see if I can change anything in here. All right, so I'm going to drop down the bit rate and see if that fixes things. Hmm. Let's see. I'll reset the statistics and we'll see. I was dropping frames before I dropped a whole bunch of frames and now it looks like it's okay. So I got my fingers crossed. The other thing I can check is I've been doing a backup of my server now 
for two weeks, which tells you something about the speed of my internet. <laughs> so, all right, smooth for me. All right, now it's good. Yeah, I, oh, I just dropped 6% of my frames. Yeah, I do not know what is going on. Pause the game. Will that help? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to roll with it and I will just keep an eye on that. And hopefully this doesn't become an issue. It looks like it's back being okay. The only other thing I could do is intentionally stop the stream for a minute and uh, get it going again. So it's not my computer. It is my internet connection. Uh, so I'm actually streaming from my Mac. Uh, so it's not a conflict between that, but I dropped a ton of frames, about 4% of the frames. So I apologize for that. All right, now what I wanna do is we've gotta see where the uh, the boats are actually clipping through the bridge right here. So this must be where our path is, which is the thing I wanted to check on next. So we are going to raise things up where the bridge, or where the, uh, where the path for the ships is. Trevor, thank you so much for the support. Part of me says that the local government would just say that the bridge is too big of an infrastructure project that provides too little value considering no one lives in the island. So I think this this connects right now. Without this bridge, the two halves of Michigan wouldn't be connected. <laughs> so it's super important in reality. And this would be uh, taking it from reality. Uh, without that, this would be Michigan down here. And woo, got some weird things. This is something I've noticed that uh, has happened in this build a little bit. I'm not sure what it is, but I can pop in here, get this going. Um, but yeah, this would be connecting two states. So this over here would be Michigan. So I think that the bridge would have enough value. All right, so we're gonna come through here, look at our boats, and let's see where our pads are. We've actually got two separate pads, but they're not using this one, interestingly. So. I'm going to focus on this one right here and maybe we have two sets of pillars, but we definitely need to get rid of this. So we're going to need to come through and eliminate these supports. And let's see the Iranian Putin. <laughs> Five years and I finally made it to a stream, buddy. Uh, thank you for gifting five gifted memberships. And thank you for so much for the super chat as well. Let's see, Lascosity, welcome. Thank you for becoming an associate planner. And LH, thank you so much for uh, for the super chat. Love your videos, super inspirational. Much love from Australia. Thank you so much. And that is very generous of you. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, wow, 10 more gifted memberships. Thank you so much. Iranian Putin, thank you. <laughs> all right let's see uh love your videos and builds i think i started with bluff side and have been following since yeah stan <laughs> yeah yeah uh, I, now <laughs> i appreciate your support that's a tough name to say on stream <laughs> uh let's see the, the <laughs> all right I'm missing from Discord so uh, for so many months. I have not been in Discord uh, very much at all lately. Yes, that is a lot of dollar reduce, so I appreciate that. I really, really do. That is super, super generous. Um, let's see, Tesla News and H22 Vlog. Thank you for becoming an associate planner. Let's see, yeah, maybe I split the bridge and start to break off the other island because, Ch yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, what I think we're gonna do though, Let's start out. So we know that we've got a spot right here. What we're going to do is take this and move this over. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Can't grab it. <laughs> All right. All right. Finally, can grab it again. So we're going to grab this one. And what I think we're going to do is try to end this right about here. And I'm gonna try my best just to save this thing and get it to work. And we will position it correctly and see if we can, oh, look at that. So we've got those, it actually needs to drop down further. And let's see, actually, this might work, this might work. So 
I'm gonna scoot this over. It's really finicky. And actually it's not gonna work. I can see it already. So we're gonna need to convert the whole bridge, <laughs> which is kind of unfortunate, but it's it's fine. We can definitely do it. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get rid of the, I'm not gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna lose that if I do that. We're gonna grab our two lane for you road. And here's where I do pause it for the first time in a long time. And we are going to just sever this bridge connection. We're going to go absolutely great. real choppy for you again. Yeah, I'm losing bandwidth. This really stinks. I apologize. I'm going to try one thing. I'm going to. Let's see. Water is causing it. I think it might be more than that. So I'm going to. Now I'm not ending the broadcast. I'm just stop. Okay, I restarted it with less bit rate. So hopefully this fixes it. It looks excellent on my end. Which to me means that Spectrum is <laughs> chugging along tonight. <laughs> All right. So fingers showing no dropped frames now. And it's green. I just dropped the bit rate by a couple of thousand and we look we're looking good. All right. Pretty sure that bridge section is meant for one anyway. Yeah. So here's what we're going to try. I'm going to raise this up so that the unfortunate thing is I don't have a highway segment that is that is four lanes two way. Otherwise, that's what I would go with. So we're going to just take a normal segment for a road and convert that. And I think it'll do the trick for us. We'll need to, to play around with it a bit, but it'll be fine. So I'm going to center this and then control H this down. And then eventually I'll bring these over and connect them. And I might even disconnect it out here, maybe right about here, actually. And then we'll move this over and then alt these into place, make it nice and straight. And now I want to test. Does this work? If it works, great. We'll go with it. If not, then we'll try something else. So let's see. I think this is going to work. I think it's going to work. All right. So we'll lower this down. Yeah, I think that that will do the trick. So I want to know, though, if you're all satisfied with this. So obviously I need to get this perfectly centered, which is going to be a little bit of a trick. Not totally impossible. But I want to know if you guys even like this or not. So let's see. Uh, Spectrum or Comcast, which is more evil? I've had both. And I would say Comcast is more evil. Planner Doc, holy cow. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and happy new year. Thank you for all the fun from Bluffside Crossing and now the Mackinac Bridge. Also handles about 11,600 vehicles per day compared to Sepulveda Fat Pass that handles 330,000. I actually, that is, that's wild. Got into a car accident in Sepulveda Pass. That was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, my, my, uh, what am I, that was the last accident I was ever in. <laughs> uh, but yeah, appreciate that. That's really, really generous of you. Very, very nice. And let's see. <laughs> uh, let's see that. We, I think we have we have a name, uh, a bunch of controversial <laughs> names. That's spankable. Thank you for becoming an associate planner. And uh, I know I have a controversial name, but we have, uh, but we family at CPP. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. Let's see. Uh, Ian Johnson. Hey Phil, that stream is always a surprise to me. I always love to watch your content. I've also got a peanut buttermilk stout, which is interesting. Oh yeah, those are those. That's, I've had those. <laughs> those are interesting. At least I'm not the only one with internet issues. Yeah, and it's doing it again. 8% of frames. And it is. It's like it's like the water. If I look at the water, we seem to have issues. Let me see. I'm going to reset. I'm not looking at the water. Are we still having issues or not? So thoughts on Google. <laughs> My thoughts on Google are don't bite the hand that feeds you. <laughs> uh, I, I wish I had Google internet. I wish I had fiber. I'm a block away. So definitely unfortunate. All right. And now apparently if I'm not looking at the water, I'm not dropping any frames. So I think that you guys are, must be, must be right. 
So we're going to do our best. We're going to do our best. No, it's Spectrum not liking content creators. <laughs> I got, I have the very best internet package they offer. It is ridiculously expensive. Uh, people a block away from me can pay for one gig up and down fiber. That's going to be upgraded. Uh, sorry, one, one, yeah, one gig up and down. It's going to be upgraded to five gigs up and down. And I have one gig up 30 or one gig down 35 megabytes up and it's $145 a month which is absolutely wild. So yeah, the water uh, should have an impact on the CPU, but it shouldn't have an impact on the internet because it's on a different computer. So I don't understand why this is a problem. That said, I wanna know how you guys feel about this. Should I keep it? I'm gonna leave a poll and have a drink of my beer because the internet is stressing me out. <laughs> Let's see. Good solution or new tower? Good, or new tower, please. All right, so another poll is up. Ouch. Yes, it is very expensive, Joy. It is ridiculous. Joy, it's great to see you in here. 3 a.m. in the UK. Holy cow, Mozzie. Thank you for being here. Uh, why not build a tunnel? Basically because this one is actually a, oh wow, new tower is winning. That's not what I expected. Get procedural objects. Oh boy. <laughs> Elon's messing with me. <laughs> the billionaire that shall not be named. I will, I'm not gonna lie. I, I wasn't a big Twitter guy before Elon took over and I am even less of a Twitter guy now. I, I go on there to watch the world burn but I'm not very excited to post on there anymore. So I think I auto posted tonight but I spend very little bit, little, little time on there. Uh, Urban Shocker, what am I drinking? I'm drinking a Smithwick's. You guys actually picked this for me. So I appreciate it, it's very good. Uh, Michael Hill, at, you got 1,030 where you live for just half of that. Oh, you're killing me, Michael. You're killing me. Uh, yeah, so AT&T, I've been begging them to, uh, to come over to my, my neighborhood. My, sorry, not even my neighbor, my block. Because <laughs> I have a donut. I'm I'm a donut where they do not have service. So it's very, very frustrating. Uh, but it, it, there's, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm, I'm just kind of stuck. And one of the things that I've heard is that they're increasing their service in my area. And they're going to be expanding it to other places. But I think that my block... I, I look at it this way. Is it more profitable to add a node to serve my block? or to add a node somewhere else where they can serve 50 houses instead of just my one block. They're probably never expanding it here. So it, it definitely stinks. They actually said to move. <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, Captain Mac, thank you so much for the support. Hiya, Phil, I'm catching a 6 a.m. flight tomorrow, so I'll be saving the stream for then. But before I go, I wanted to say thanks for providing some in-flight entertainment. Hope you have a great night. Thank you so much, Captain. And I apologize for stuttering. It seems like it's back because thank you. Thank you I'm going to stop the stream one more time and lower this down. Oh, wow. The, the, my, it's dropping so far down. Let me check the one more thing. I'm just going to make sure I'm not uploading seven terabytes of data right now, which is what I was doing earlier. And it was so bad that I could not actually send an email. It's suspended. So it's not that. Darn it. That, I wish that that was the case. So, all right. I'm going to, once again, take a quick beat on this and lower this down because I am dropping so many frames. All right. Now the bit rate's super low, so... I'm guessing 1080p is about all that we're gonna see. I'm gonna check on my other computer because I'm very curious and I'm very sorry. The internet is just a, just kind of brutal tonight. So let me check one thing, Let's see how it's working. And I guess maybe in the future, I'm gonna have to <laughs> actually all right, it looks good on my other computer. I don't think it's, 
excellent quality, but we're looking okay. Okay, I'm just gonna live with that, and hopefully, hopefully it's good enough. I dropped the the bit rate down by a third, so I think I can I think I can handle this with my internet now. So, all right, let's see. The FPS is not dropping frames, so don't blame me. <laughs> wow, uh, thank you, Putin. <laughs> uh think i can sing thank you so much for the for the super chat i appreciate that very generous of you uh have i thought about making a sports complex ravenfield asks i have but i have other things that we're going to do first so before we do that what we're going to do is is build a university and this is actually a challenge that's going on on the discord right now so i've had different thoughts about that and uh Maybe I'll ask this in a poll at the end. I'll ask in the poll. So it looks like we want a new tower. So I'm going to end the poll, and then we're going to add a new tower. Planner Duck, thank you so much for the 10 gifted memberships. And uh, for anyone who got those, please go ahead and check out the community tab, and you'll be able to have access to all the saves. Uh, Ashi, greetings from Detroit. Love the Michigan rep. Go Greens. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. All right. Now, now. We are going to look at a new, yeah. <laughs> the Iranian Putin is is uh, is is very, very active tonight. I appreciate the support. <laughs> I've definitely seen you around before. All right, we're gonna try a couple of things. Why keep messing around when we can just add these? So I'm just gonna add these all up and down here, and we'll see what fits. So we'll add this one here, and then I'm gonna be really scientific about this instead of a poll. What I think we're going to do is I'm just going to look. So this is one. So this was number seven. Wow. It actually fits really, really well. I uh, think I could sing. Thank you for becoming an associate planner. Planner Duck. Five gifted memberships. Thank you so much. Super generous of you. Yeah, I... This is actually better than I thought it was going to be. So that's that's pretty nice. So that's one of them. This is the one that we are not using. It's the one that shall not be named. We'll just get rid of this thing. We don't need to think about that at all. And then we'll look at this one. So this is the one that uh, I don't... I, I think that I am going to rule... Oh, well, no. I just need to drop it in. Drop it in. We'll take a look. And it's about here. You know what? This one will work pretty good, too. This one fits really nicely, actually. So that's another option. Another one right here. Let's go along. This one looks like it's probably not going to work. So if it's not going to work, I'm going to eliminate it right off the bat. We'll see. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think that we picked the one that is not going... The only one that... Uh, the only one that's not going to work <laughs> in the very beginning because <laughs> all of these are pretty fantastic if i'm if i'm being completely honest with you i really really like most of these i mean look at this it fits this basically perfectly that's awesome and we'll just keep going down the line this one this one might be a bit of a trick Uh, not too bad. I think this one fits. Yeah, it, it seems like the only one. Wow, I actually like the way that that one lines up. If we spin this a little bit. Yeah, we'd have to move the road just a bit, but it's pretty good. Yes, yes, that's the one you wanted. <laughs> that's a good tower. <laughs> oh, check the lights. Yes. Let me place these last two and then we will check the lights. This is probably the most appropriate way of checking. I should have done this. That's okay. We live and we learn. This is why this is fun to do on a stream because we can all work on this together. And then afterwards, if you guys want, I will make a post in the community in the community tab with a link to all of these so that you can see which ones I have used. And if you want to make a custom bridge in your city, you can. Now this one, it's close. We're going to need to make sure the bridge is completely straight if we use this one. And then finally, we've got this one. Yeah, this one I might rule out. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's give this a go. Maybe I... Let me see. I, I'm not so sure about this one. 
actually no yeah this one this one doesn't work it could but it would be very finicky so i'm gonna say no to this one so that's the only place that i will uh i will flex a little bit of influence there so let's see christopher thank you so much for the super chat that's very very generous of you 15 it's i appreciate that because i enjoy your content so much merry christmas merry christmas to you too i appreciate that very very much all right let's look at this with the lights on and we've got two of these because i really like it a lot apparently <laughs> and then we'll grab this oh and i've eliminated a road inadvertently that's no good let's get this back in there before we upset the apple cart too much all right so let's turn this tonight and interesting there's only one of these that has lights so i want to see we'll just whoa uh, we'll look back to here that's the one that we're not doing one two three four five six i'm just going to look through here and see what you guys say so add in numbers so we'll start one is over here two three four five six the bridge road isn't connected. Oh, yep. <laughs> I should leave that paused. Pause, pause, pause. Uh, the Cajun Beauty says this is the most complex game you've ever played. Yeah, it is a very complex game. I Honestly, that's why it has staying, fa staying power for me. I've seen a lot of ones. I've seen a lot of ones. Ones and fours, a couple of fives, but many, many ones. So I think that we're going to... We're going to stick with the one. We'll go with the one. I think that that's the winner. And truthfully, I think this is going to be an easy one to place. Poll. <laughs> okay. I see one, five, and four. I'll do a poll. I'll bite. I'll bite. I like polls. Uh, which one? One, four, or five. All right. Here we go. We are. Uh, Galactic Stan. Oh, it's good to see you, Stan. Thank you so much for gifting five memberships. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate the support. And Banana Man, yes. Definitely join the Discord, even if I'm not in there. The, the community is amazing. <laughs> uh, I left for a minute and all the bridges are back. <laughs> this is democracy. This is direct democracy. <laughs> Batch likes polls. <laughs> As much as I wanted to keep this PG, I feel this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to send this thing off the rails. <laughs> uh, Painter Yuffie, thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of your 2022. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of my 2022. 2022. Thank you all. I like polls a bit too much. Yeah, one is what it is. All right, we're going with it. I do like polls. So, all right, we're going to we're going to just end it here and we're going to go with it. So let me get rid of these ones and then we will add these in. I, I appreciate that you guys like one because I think it's going to be the easiest one to place if I'm being completely upfront with you. So this, all right, we're going to grab this and this is the general location. Let's bring this back today so we can see what we're doing and then we'll get this thing placed. So what I'm thinking is we want the end of this to be where this pillar is right here. And then all of the pillars, I'm going to be replacing those as well. I've got some ideas and I think you're going to like it. So let's get this thing centered. And this is really, this is an art. It's not a science. So we're going to need to do a little bit of finessing here. And I think the easiest way to do this is probably going to be to go into picker and select only this. So I will get rid of everything, but actually, if I just get rid of buildings, that's probably good enough for me too. Yeah. So there we go. And now I can actually play with this in a good way. Or in a, in a convenient way. So that's pretty darn good. I think that's pretty straight too. Come through. Yeah, that's good. This is really wavy though, the bridge itself. So I don't know why it got so wavy, but we'll have to play with that, play around with that a bit. 
So I'm gonna add one more on the other side as well. We'll rotate that around. Holy cow. Let's see. Astro Genas, thank you so much for the support. $10 to help Santa bring Amtrak to Madison. Thanks for the great content and happy holidays, Phil. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. And uh, it makes me wonder if you're the one that I met. <laughs> and, uh, for whoever it was that I met, I apologize for being tired. I've had a lot of work in the last couple of weeks. I think I've put in uh, the last couple of weeks, 60 hours each week, plus content creation, plus family stuff, plus sick. So it's one of those things. Uh, July, thank you so much for being an uh, uh, associate planner. Eight months. Happy December, almost to 2023. Yes, very excited about it too. I think that 2023 is going to be an amazing year. I'm, I could not be more pumped. All right, I'm going to spin this around and we're going to just mirror what we've done. Bring it on the other side. And I'm actually regretting that. We're going to redo this. And the main reason is I want to hold down alt so I can just, oh, it's not going to, it's not going to snap. That stinks. I was hoping I could snap it and get it perfectly straight and not need to do the whole visual inspection thing, but it's not going to, it's not going to help me in that, in that way. So we'll just need to do it by hand. That's okay. We'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Let's see. I could use the network multi-tool. Ah, oh, let's see. Aromatic on the ground. Thank you so much for the super chat. I got stuck in the codas during the storm, but I'm finally able to catch you live. So it's not all bad. Oh, thank you so much. So we actually were supposed to only have rain and uh, we got a few inches of snow. And usually the Madison school district is very reluctant. So uh, between the school district and I went to UWSP and Stevens Point for undergrad and UWSP was super proud of having, they haven't canceled class since like 1846 or something or 1848. So Madison school district's the same way. They don't want to cancel class basically unless things are absolutely wild outside so i would i hadn't even occurred to me that if we got a little bit of snow they would cancel school but they canceled school yesterday so i had two kids home and i i i've never felt like a more boring dad <laughs> both kids were telling me that they would rather be at school that uh, it was uh very boring being home but uh you know it's okay built a snowman and uh yeah, that was good enough. I, I I enjoyed it. Sometimes sometimes snow days are as much for the parents as they are for the kids. So I'm gonna spin this around. I think that's pretty good. And then we'll look at the back end, and it's not good here. So that's telling me that something is a little. Just spin it just a bit. Uh, <laughs> There we go. Hopefully that's good. If not, we'll just budge the road over a little bit. I think that might be our easiest course of action at this point. Seems like the bridge might have shifted just a little bit. Otherwise, I can't figure out exactly why it wouldn't be perfectly straight right now. All right, let's see. Daycom, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. I think we're good here. I think we're good here. I think this looks really, really good. So I love the idea. Ah, dang it. <laughs> this is going to drive me crazy. So I'm going to, I think that on stream anyway, I might try to not let perfect be the enemy of good and adjust this afterwards. Or we'll see if I can fix this a little bit. So with these custom bridges, it can just be, it's just tough. It's a lot of work. So this bridge in general, when I built it, it was a lot of work. So it might not look like it, but I struggled with getting it straight. And clearly it needs some work even at that. So uh, we'll just kind of go up and down the line. Let me see. Lift every bridge and sing till earth and fill ring. <laughs> yes, we ended up with this bridge after all. Yeah, and I think that I... I'm wondering, I'm going to try something. And this again might be dumb, but what we're gonna do, we can always undo this. I'm gonna grab just nodes and the picker. And I want to get these 
and I can never get this thing to, to work right. But I want this to be, all right, so we got the two lane highway. What we're gonna do is try to select one half of the highway. And I'm gonna have to do it through here. And basically what I'm gonna do is line it up and see if I can straighten it out. Cause that seems like that's the problem. The bridge isn't perfectly straight. It's pretty close, but it's not quite there. So if I do this, my theory, oh, and of course, my theory is that I could get this to work right. So why don't we try it here first? And we'll just line it up through here. Oh, <laughs> That was the ticket. So maybe if I could just get these couple to line up and I could do this with just this picker right here and not get super crazy about it. And then we'll line this up. All right, so yeah, that's gonna do the trick. And you can see it looks quite a bit straighter where I've lined this up. So I think what we're gonna do I'm not going to bore you all to tears with this unless you want me to. <laughs> we are a stubborn group. We wish for the raising of the bridge. You know what? That is something that I think we have to do at some point too, is actually get this to get this. Well, the, the real bridge doesn't raise or lower, but this, oh shoot, it's not high enough. You guys are right. All right. I see what you're saying now. So we're going to raise this up. We require you to use the network multi-tool. <laughs> yeah. she's, she's straight but low, Phil. Yeah, she is. All right, let's get this straightened out. So what we're going to do is we're going to come through just in this area where the bridge has all of this traffic underneath. And let's see if we can get a bridge or a boat right underneath. We got one. Let's raise this thing up. And... Oh yeah. I think it's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Yes, you made contact. <laughs> uh Dylan. Happy holidays. Thank you. For, thank you for all the content you're great. Thank you so much. Uh Mackinac Bridge is 155 feet tall. Now I, this is when I wish I had measure it in here. Because that would be really helpful. But yeah, oh wait, 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 wait. I've got an idea. This is gonna be a really dumb idea. <laughs> this is gonna be the dumbest idea. So let me think. 155 feet is how many meters? Feet to meters. So that's 47 meters. So I know that we now have some towers <laughs> that have how tall they are. And I bet you I can find one that is a hundred meters tall or even this one. It's a third the height. So I would need to, we're going to do something silly. We're going to, this is where I try to measure using this. So I'll place this here. We'll raise it. It's not going to let me raise it up. There we go. So water level and it's about a third. So I'm actually. Actually, that's pretty good. That is about a third. So I think I think that we've we've got it. <laughs> Stream is for testing dumb ideas. <laughs> uh, yes, I am feeling a ton better, Stanley. Uh, it was like a month of just not feeling good, and then I had a public meeting, and that was like the one day that I felt good, <laughs> and then I was sick. I. Uh, it's one of those situations where. Uh, I, is, when I walked in there, I saw that about a third of the people were wearing masks and I wasn't. And, you know, you kind of think to yourself, maybe that would have been a good idea. Maybe it would have been. I Maybe I should have. I did not. And I got sick as a result. Yeah, pretty predictably. <laughs> so. Pateri, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. I appreciate it. And... Let's see. Don't forget to like the stream. Thank you so much, Bat. Uh, thoughts on Stadia? <laughs> oh, Google, you have jokes. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, that is the world's most expensive measuring stick. Thank, thank goodness we have so much money. All right, we are going to try to lower this thing now. And then I got to get this road connected again. It's, it's, it's killing me that we're paused. I do not like running on paused. On pause. So here we go. We'll lower this. Looking good. And let's just reestablish our connection real quick. And then we'll do some network multi-tool magic to get everything working again. So we'll just get this connected. And there we go. Looks absolutely crazy. And I want to I want to enjoy. <laughs> I want to enjoy the ride. <laughs> and I'm going to have a sip of beer <laughs> and look at chat a little bit. Jack, it has been a while. Thank you for being here. Don't lick doorknobs. You won't get sick. Uh, don't stand in a small room with 150 people. <laughs> you won't get sick either. <laughs> I'm glad you could be here too, Jack. Thank you so much. And that is a red... Wow, you've been, a, you've been a member for a minute. I appreciate that. <laughs> that slow. Look at that truck. It's a champion. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, that would be a that would be an experience of a lifetime. <laughs> there we go. We got it. We got it. Those are some brave drivers. It's a it's a it's a fun roller coaster. It is a work of art. It is a beautiful thing. And it is something that the entire community would be talking about. You're not going to Michigan because if you go, you've got to traverse up here. And if you come in from Michigan, we're punishing you. So, <laughs> all right, let's, let's get this thing fixed. We can't, we can't leave it like this for too long. So we're going to take this and just slope all the way down. So we'll, we'll say to about here. And let's see that at 27. Now we're at 2.8. I think that we can do that. <laughs> I think that that is doable. And it's about right here that we went to. There we go. Ooh, and we got some of these cars that are just, wow, what was that? We have tornado, uh, tornado vehicles now, I think. The ones that are just flying. <laughs> All right, now this, it's still really not straight. So I'm gonna see if there's anything I can do to fix this. So I'm going to go into arrange at line mode. And what this should allow me to do is straighten things out. We'll go through the halfway point in the bridge. Oh, too far. All right. And we can see what this is going to do. It's actually going to pull it in, which is not what I wanted to do. So I'm going to pull this back. I think I went too far back and we'll give this another shot. We'll start slow and small. See what this does. It pulls it out a little bit. And let's keep it going. And yeah, it's pulling it way over. So I'm going to just settle for a bit of imperfection rather than ruining this whole thing. Luke, thank you so much for the super chat. L uh, look up Tokyo Bay, Aqualine, Google Maps, Wikipedia, maybe design inspiration at some point. I will definitely look that up. Uh, plus halfway across here, there's plenty of rest areas, parks with great views. Pretty cool. That is awesome, Luke. Thank you so much again for the support. What time is it in Japan right now? I'm, I'm curious. Uh, <laughs> level the train above the water. Starting to feel like, you know, I, here's what I'll do. I'm going to get the bridge as close as we can today. And then we are going to, I, I will play with this off camera and I will probably get lost <laughs> and end up doing way too much to get it right. But we will, uh, we'll see what I come up with and trying to see how far we need to go. It's 27. I want to go quite a ways out. I would actually love to slope this basically over the entire span of this. There we go. And that gets us to negative 1.3 all the way across. I like that. I like that a lot. So we'll go with that. And then we'll bring this back as well to about the same point. There we go. And I don't know. It's super wavy, um, which is frustrating. And I don't know if that's a graphic thing or whatnot. But, but 
I really think that this looks good. The bridge itself looks a ton better. What do you guys think? What do you think? Let's see. Oh, and I'm missing a bunch of these. I'm missing. So, Cole Brunel, thank you so much. Thank you for being an inspiration to all of us. Cheers from Hurley. Cheers. Thank you so much. Love, Northern Wisconsin. Uh, reminds you of the Tampa Sky Bridge. <laughs> Banana Man. Wow, is there, there must be a lot going on. <laughs> Using Bob to improve realism. I know. I've, I've, I've not gotten there at all yet. <laughs> uh, let's see. 1238 in Tokyo. Oh, that's a good time. Little afternoon. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. Looking good. Much fancier. Looking good. Seven mile bridge vibes. Loving it. All right. Shore. Ugh. I don't know what shore means. Uh, let's see. 33 miles. Anthony just changed major to urban and regional studies at school. Any advice or anything? I would say enjoy it. That's that's the main thing. Don't be afraid to take classes that are outside of your comfort zone and don't feel like you should know everything day one. It's going to take you many, many years and it's okay. Uh, life is a journey and don't, don't, uh, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad to ask questions. Let's see now nighttime. Let's take a look at nighttime. Very boring. <laughs> so we need to add some lights. I think we are going to add some red lights to the top of here. So let's see. make this bigger so I should be able to snap onto this it's right at the top here add some lights I kind of want this to be a solid light though if we're gonna do a light oh wow <laughs> I don't know how we all feel about that tear those pillars down yes we're going to <laughs> I should check out the bridge in Astoria, Oregon. Corkscrew and Street. <laughs> so funny, Astoria is a map I built on. It's one of the first I've, I've done. I've wanted to get it. I've wanted to, to actually take a look at it in a video, but it is uh, light the rays lowered bridge. What? <laughs> Are there rules for bridge lighting? I don't know. Do any of you know? So I'm thinking the red light on top for airplanes so that airplanes that they're coming over, they don't accidentally hit the bridge but i think that it, i think it's good oh blinking lights for aircraft all right so we do have to go with the blinking lights blinking light do it yes for lights all right all right blinking light up there and blinking light up here so it's pretty modest pretty minimal that's less than i thought it was going to be I don't know if we can make it any better. What Planner Duck said. Yes, the blink. We got it. We got it. Uh, what am I going to name the bridge? Oh, you know what? We need a bridge name. So if you have some bridge names, drop them in the comments right now. And you know what? I want, I want Planner Duck to pick a name. So... All of you drop comments in there and we're going to have planner duck who has been super generous. Pick a name. And then after that, I'm going to go with LHS cities and they are going to pick something. Is planner duck still here? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> and planner duck, planner duck. I am on discord. I want you in discord to shoot me a message. Letting me know which bridge or what name we should, what we should call the bridge. So I will just let that in, let, let that, let that in there. So drop your names, planner duck, pick one, no pressure at all. <laughs> and in the meantime, I want to try something. So we can change all of the lights on here on this bridge. So this is going to be a fun one too. So right now, if we pick this, come through here. I kind of want to give it something fun. I don't know that we can. <laughs> We're not going to be able to. Let's just see. What does this look like? Too yellow. 
Yeah, maybe this isn't going to be quite as fun as I thought it was going to be. So I was hoping that I could take some color of light and add that. The only way that I think I might be able to do that would be to go into the maybe in the intersection marking tool. Maybe yeah, let's let's give that a try. So we'll go in the intersection marking tool. And let's give this a shot. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just throw this in here and then we will add this as a decorative network and light. No. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, prop, maybe a prop. I think this might be it. All right. Yes, this is it. So what we could do is add in something like this blue blood light. And I'm wondering if we can shift this down in elevation. Yeah. <laughs> so what we could do is actually increase the step of these so that they're not quite so extreme and then give the bridge some color, which might look fun from the shore. So this is something that I've been thinking about and I'm curious what you guys think. So do you guys like the lights or should I just take it off? Yeah, I got, we'll have to see what RCE thinks of this. I'll shoot him a message. <laughs> so do you like this idea for the lights? I might need to go through and actually change something in my settings for intersection marking tool to make this the distance go a little bit longer, but we can go all the way down, light it up. All right, I wanna see what color lights should we go with? Cause we've got a number, we've got orange, red. Well, that's not gonna work. So I think that these flood lights might be the, the key. So blue, orange, red, or white. I love this. <laughs> so, rainbow, rainbow would be really hard. Oh, only red, so it doesn't mess up the fish. Interesting. So I don't think I can do multiple colors. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I? Huh. I don't know. I don't, I actually, I'm going to say, I see a lot of reds, red and white. So I could alternate. I think I would have to be very careful. So the, what I could do is just copy this marking here. And then ultimately I have to go through and paste it. Now this is the kind of thing that I don't know if I'm gonna bore you with it. <laughs> this might be one of those things that I show off in the next video. But let me see. Got this one that needs to be lower, we know that. So we'll drop this down. It's kind of showing through now. <laughs> it's too low now. So I'm going to pull this up here. And I'm thinking I grabbed the wrong one and I need to have one. There we go. So those point down and now we're not going to see it through. And yeah, I see red a ton. Do a poll. <laughs> I'm going to save some polls. <laughs> Ooh, green. Oh, evergreen. Evergreen. So... There are, so I see blue and green. I could do blue, green, and white for the superior flag. I could do green for evergreen. Yeah, we'll do, we're gonna do a poll. We're gonna do a poll. What color? Blue, red, white, or green? This is probably the best one to ask in a poll. So we'll just go for it. And I see Cole, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. I really appreciate that. Christopher, thank you so much. Look at that big four bridge in Louisville. Wonder. We'll take a, a quick break. Big four bridge. Let's take a look. Why not? 
And here we are. So I've only been in Louisville once. It's the middle of the night. But it was a very pretty city. Oh, yeah. That is a nice looking bridge. So that this bridge looks a ton like this one that we have right over here, actually. And I did experiment. Is one of my ideas was giving this as an option too. This would be the vanilla option actually to convert this bridge to this. It's an, I believe it's the industrial road. Yeah, you can tell because it's a little cracked up. So if we use the industrial road, that would give it this effect. And I wanted to see if using sub meshes I could pull these off, but there's just I couldn't figure out a way to do it. The only thing I could figure out was actually taking this road segment, placing it underneath this road. It just looked really bad. So let's see, wow, green is way far ahead, but we've got 1,200 people here. So I think that we, we need to have a couple more votes. We have 372 votes. Funny, YouTube is yelling at me saying that I do not have the recommended bit rate, but I haven't seen you guys saying that it's choppy at all and I'm not dropping any frames, so I am reluctant to change it. Let's see. Looks like the bridge in my town, Bill Thorpe Walking Bridge. Let's see. They were referring to the I-65 bridge next to the big four. Well, let me see. Oh, was this what you were talking about? Oh. They're very attractive bridges. Very, very attractive bridges. And my uh, my goodness, <laughs> my computer is just at its knees right now. I don't know why. All right, whatever. Uh, yeah, very nice, very nice. Looking good. There is a dark blue floodlight too. Slightly choppy occasionally. Okay, well, I think it's better to have occasional choppiness. I'm showing that I'm dropping 0.5% of frames. All right, so Green, green is running away with it. We're going to go with it. We're going to go with green. All right. Green it is. So. <laughs> and I think I offered you a, an option that wasn't real. So if green is not an option, I will see if I can find it. Otherwise, we're going to go with red. So let's see. I will search for green. Ah, oh, we do have it. There we go. Oh, yeah. I like that. That is nice. That is very nice. So what is add rule? I have no idea what that is. Sort of, I am changing lots. Of, oh, it's a secondary. All right. So I was hoping that there would be a way for me to easily copy this and just paste it across. What I think I have to do is going to be a time consuming and tedious process. And what it's going to be doing is basically copying the marking going over to the next one going here and then can I control shift V this there we go so it's something I can do oh I don't even have to draw the line all right so actually I can just control shift control shift V after I select the segment and then I can go up and down the line so the fun thing about this is I can actually read chat while I'm doing this or I can try <laughs> a little darker green let me see if we have anything darker I don't know if we do Can I change it even? Custom. Oh, I can. All right. So. Or they make it seem like I can change it, but I don't think I really can. Because if I go to blue, <laughs> it's, it's not it's not having it. So, yeah, I, I this is the only green we have. So I think this is the green we have to live with. Nick Collins. Thank you so much for the support. Always stoked to catch a, uh, to catch part of a live stream. Thank you for all the great content throughout the year. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too, Nick. And thank you so much for the support. Now, I want to know what we are going to get LHS cities to name. LHS, is there anything that you have wanted to name in particular? Why don't we, why don't we get, we'll open up to you? And if I miss it, Banana Man, if you could see that, please do that. Or anyone, point it out. Just spam it when we when we know what 
LHS wants a name. Yikes, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Control shift Z or G, control shift G. All right, let's see what that does. Is that gonna do everything? Control shift G. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like I did something wrong. <laughs> All right, I will try again and let's see prop green and then we'll drop this thing down i think it was negative 5.2 meters and then the probability for the step we'll go maybe we want about four i think on the span be sufficient Okay, so we're gonna go 25-ish meters, five there, and I'm gonna copy this, Control-Shift-C, and now Control-Shift-G. You really want to apply markings between intersections. Am I doing this wrong? Uh-oh, you Control-Shift-G'd the wrong section. Ah. Oh, there we go, all right. Uh <laughs> There we go. Holy cow. That was awesome. So we've got this one section all done. That is very bright. <laughs> That's very bright. And then how far does it go? Does it go all the way down? It does. So we've got to change our visibility of our props. But wow. Thank you. Control shift G Green Bay Bridge. No, I think too many. Maybe it is too many. <laughs> it's a bit too green yeah why don't we why don't we try to take this down a notch just a little bit i'm wondering too if we why don't we increase the spacing by double now that we could do this really quickly so we'll go 50 and then i'll click this control shift g apply it everywhere uh let's see yeah that to me feels a lot more reasonable so <laughs> the bridge looks radioactive <laughs> the leprechaun bridge <laughs> this bridge is going to take us to another planet do one one or two lights so we have two now what do you guys think of this let me i'm going to change i want to change the view distance so let's take my computer to its knees intersection marking tool and we've got to change the render distance and I'm going to go crazy oh we can do better than that that's not good enough 10,000 it still feels pretty weak I don't like it is that I wonder if it's the load so let's see the load. Let's say if we take the load to 10, we'll see what that does. It's not the load. It is the render distance. I just, that's, that's super disappointing. Let's take the little render distance to 20. Let's see. I'm just going to keep going nuts. It's not doing anything. Huh? Uh, light color can't be changed y'all. Yeah, I know this is it. The only way that I could get this to change colors in any significant way. 50,000. You guys think 50,000 will do it? Diana, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> All right, is there anything else that I'm missing? Illumination of editing marketing at night. Uh, I wanna see if there's any other settings that might be missing. I don't think so. I just think that there's an arbitrary limit on here, unless the only other thing that I could think of, I, I actually don't have ultimate level of detail on in here anymore. Oh, I do, I do. So if I, this shouldn't work, but I'll try it. That did it, holy cow. So ultimate level of detail. Wow. All right, so now for the first time, we get to see what it actually looks like. So this is what it actually looks like. Obviously, this is only one side, 
So I do think I'm going to take this down a notch and we are going to pop through here, increase this to 100. Control shift G this. I'm going to grab this control shift C to copy it. Take it here. Control shift V to paste it and then click this again. Ah, is this the one? Oh, yeah. All right. Control shift G and there we go. I think it is on the wrong side. <laughs> That's perfect. So I'm going to delete this. We'll give this another shot. Put it on the right side. Sometimes it's just easier to redo it. So props green. And then we'll go 100 again on this side. And then elevation negative five. So that should be an exact copy. And then we'll come through here and control G this. Okay, so now it is perfectly identical. I love this. I think this is awesome. I, I let's see, task failed successfully. <laughs> It's a bit too much. Just one row in the middle. Just one set of lights directly under the bridge. All right, I can, I can do that. I, I, I can bite. Let's do it. So I will get rid of one of these. And then control G this, got rid of all of them and I will Play with this one and let's see, we've got to shift this over. So I think I can shift it here and we'll just slide it over a little bit. Get a nice angle of this and pull this right over right there. We'll call that a day. We'll call that good. So that is this segment right here. All right, I think that did the trick. Let's take a look at how it looks. Oh, you guys were right. You guys were right. That looks awesome. I love that. I love that. All right, white lights on the towers. Superman hate this bridge. <laughs> Uh, Diane, this has to be your favorite stream of all time. <laughs> this has been fun for me. This is the kind of thing that I can't do in a video. That's the money. Much better. It's better. The kryptonite bridge. All right. I got to look. Let's see what planner. Let's see. Planner duck says the name of this bridge. <laughs> Charles de Gaulle bridge. <laughs> Uh, Governor Phil Tom Memorial Bridge. <laughs> oh, you're tricky. You just wanted me to say Charles de Gaulle again, didn't you? <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you so much. I think that's what we're going to go with. We're going to go with the Governor Phil Tom Memorial Bridge. <laughs> all right. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm just going to add in a district over this. I think we're just going to call it a park. That should allow us to name it. And this kind of reminds me, so there's actually an authority for this bridge in real life, the taxing authority. So it's kind of similar to that. So this district in reality covers just the bridge and the toll stations. So we're going to go with it and I will be very careful. There's got to be a mod out there that makes drawing districts easier, right? Am I just not finding it? Because <laughs> I would kill for it. Stretch Armstrong Bridge. <laughs> Charles de Gaulle. <laughs> so I don't think I've ever seen so many comments that uh, that correct the way I've, say, I've said something. But you know what? I'm here for it because that is a learning experience for me. And I, I appreciate that sort of thing. And here's the thing. I've read his name like that forever. I, uh, I took a modern European history course 
a while back. Just wanted to know, it's fascinating history. So basically European history, 1900 through whenever I took the class, uh, 2000, 2005, 2006, uh, 2006. And I read his name and that is how I read it. And I don't know that I ever heard it said aloud. <laughs> so that is, how, that is how I read it. And that's how it's always been to me. Charles de <laughs> Uh Let's see. LHS said, oh, you want a bridge too. All right. Well, LHS, we've got another, we're going to, we're going to have another, an, another name. Maybe. How about the Borf, uh, Buford Highway? Ah, Smithwix is pronounced Smittix. Smittix. Well, in honor of you, I just had a sip. There we go. So I, the reason I didn't want to use the larger brush is I just didn't want to overwhelm this and have it spreading all over the place. I wanted it to be even. So I'm going on both sides of the bridge and really stressing myself out, if I'm being honest. <laughs> but... Uh, I, I just love when it, I love the way it looks when it's even, which is one of the reasons why I wish it was just easier to do because when these look good, they look good. And I don't think you can be a cartographer and I don't, I mean, I'm not a professional cartographer by any means, but I do make maps and I do enjoy it. It's one of my, one of the things I want to learn actually this coming year is I'd love to learn how to use motion or after effects to create maps. Uh, one of the things I always find to be incredibly impressive in YouTube videos is when someone knows how to use After Effects to create really impressive maps. You know, um, some of my favorite creators, I mean, obviously Johnny Harris is amazing with using After Effects to create really visually interesting maps. I'd love to do something similar and uh, illustrate things that I'm referencing in real life with maps. Now I have been using a secret tool uh, that I have special access to, to create some of the, the, uh, the visuals, like when I, when I went and panned around Miami. So, um, Bjorn, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. So there, I do have some tricks up my sleeves. Yes, it is 1440. Maybe that's part of the problem. <laughs> oh, you're a GIS ma major. That is awesome. Yes, we got some GIS folks in here. Yes, I so I love I love mapping. It's it's one of those things that I've always really very much enjoyed. So we're gonna go with Planner Duck Selection here, and then we're gonna rename the highway itself for LHS. So this will be the There we go. Governor Phil Town Memorial Bridge. <laughs> and then the highway here. I actually don't know the road naming conventions in Michigan. I should probably look at the highways there, but we're just going to name this right now. Did I spell this wrong? <laughs> uh, will the AI freak out driving through a park? They shouldn't. No. Am I streaming on an ultra wide? No. So I do have an ultra wide. I, uh, so my OBS setup and uh, my audio, the music, all of that, that is on an ultra wide. That's on my Mac. And then on my PC, I have a 4K monitor set up. View Fort. Uh, and we'll say that this is northbound. And this will be There we go. There we go. I love it. I love it. All right, so I am pretty satisfied with the bridge. I think we are going to do a couple more small things. We got to get rid of some of these pillars. So, grab some of these and I think that these are just props so I'll get rid of all the rest of this and I should be able to just select these ah we're not gonna have fun today are we <laughs> are they buildings yeah they're buildings all right that's easy enough and I can get rid of these ones 
I think those are the, that's as far as I can go. Yeah, right there. So those, get rid of those. And then I want to show you something that I was toying around with. And we'll see how you guys feel about it. So I'll get rid of these ones too. There we go. Oh, that looks a ton better. So those are the ones that are held up by the suspension wires. Looking good. The suspense is killing you. <laughs> uh, Three-way boat collision coming. Yeah, we've got a lot of collisions. I don't know how to fix that. I don't think it's possible. <laughs> so we just, we deal with those. Is there, a, no, you don't have to have any structural requirements. Uh, let's see. You support these changes. I see what you did there, Doomer. <laughs> so here's the other thing I was thinking about. So under, so I, ugh, how did I do this? So there is a way to grab the bases. Maybe it was base. So the bases of these European bridges, I can grab those. I have to remember how I did it. So I think it was going into props maybe. And bridge. I'm gonna figure this out. So basically you can you should be able to grab it. And ah, here it is. Here it is. So I could grab these, and what I was thinking is grabbing something like this European four-lane stone pillar. And So we could grab this and replace the pillars. Now this is really a finicky thing. This is not something that is gonna be for the faint of heart. We're, this is something that I'll probably do off camera. Uh, but I could grab these, put these into place, lower these down. This is not anything besides just a visual interest thing, but look at how nice that looks. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? So I'd have to get rid of the old ones, obviously. But I, I, I think that this is pretty nice. Or something like this. So this, to me, this kind of change takes the bridge and makes it what it should have been. So uh, just to, to give you guys a, a heads up. So I, I came up with, I designed the, the logo for the series myself. And the gentleman that actually, uh, Cone is his name, uh, that, that actually made the opener for the series, the new one that's up there, uh, redesigned the logo and had a bridge in the logo. And I fell in love with it, but we've already come so far with this one. So, yeah. So this is what I think. I actually, I think I like this one more. Uh, King Wing, thank you so much. Much love from Mackinac City. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you're enjoying the series. I hope I'm doing it. I hope I'm doing it justice. I feel like I might have to go there next summer. Yeah, the second support looks a lot better. Yeah, this is what I think we're gonna go with this. This this is the American six lane stone bridge pillar. <laughs> this bridge thick. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with that one. So what I think we're gonna do is we can just go in and move it then. And control C this thing. And as long as I have it straight the first time, it's as simple as just covering up the existing pillars and pasting it on through. Now the crazy thing is that the heights are all wrong. So I'll need to, to change this probably after the fact. I should be doing it right away. <laughs> but So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do this one off camera because this is gonna take a long time. So, uh, but just so you get an idea, I will do, a, I will finish a couple of them and then I wanna move on to a couple of other things because I said we were gonna do Bob things and we've been doing bridge things, which is fine because I feel like the bridge was, you know, I haven't, I didn't undersell the bridge that was in the picture. So obviously the bridge was one of the main attractions, but we've done a lot of bridge stuff. Anyway, here we go. And you can get a feeling for what this looks like now. And this is just so much better. It's so much better. Uh, can I use intersection marking to do this? I don't think so. CPB meetup at Mackinac Island? That would be awesome. Uh, a true pedestrian place in America. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, do I still want beacons at the top? 
Uh, the European ones might look better. Yeah, we're, not, we're gonna do the we're gonna do the wind turbines next. Bob the bridge. What if I what if I do what if I bob the bridge? I don't know what, if I'd bob the bridge much much. Ooh. If I bob, oh, what is going on here? All right, there we go. Can I change? I don't know that I can change much of anything besides signs and things of that nature. But the pillar itself, it's a separate part of this. Unless I look at... I wonder. So this is not something that I've done. But I'm wondering, is there a way to select the... I don't think that there is the pillar itself. Just kind of going through here. There's a bunch of stuff, but it's not the bridge pillar itself, unfortunately. So I'll just need to do it manually. That's not a big deal. It's just not the most thrilling thing to do uh, on stream. So I will take care of that later. Uh, Qgon Quigs, thank you so much for the five gifted channel memberships. You are awesome. I appreciate you. And I missed Vey. Vey, 10 gifted memberships. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Yeah, I can't. The pillar is growable. Yes. Change it tonight. We could take a look at it tonight. So this is what we are looking at now. Interestingly, it looks like the lights are conflicting in a couple of spots. So I'll, I'll give this a, a once over and really make sure that we nail it. But I think that this is going to look absolutely spectacular. So I want to thank each and every one of you guys for contributing to this. This is a this is a collaboration in my opinion, because this is not something that on my own I think I would have thought of. So I appreciate all of the ideas and feedback, and I will finish this up before the next episode. I am so so excited. I have so much time over the next two weeks, and some of those days I'm actually by myself, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, so one of the things I've been meaning to talk about. So I'll, we're gonna pull away, step away from the bridge. Uh, thank you so much for your feedback. We're going to keep working on this on my own now, and we are going to move. That spot is the, oh, it is the part that I deleted by accident. Good call. So I'm going to fix that real quick so I don't forget that. There we go. Now we got it fixed. Uh, there we go. That's, we got it. We got it fixed. We got it fixed. Um, what I think, let's see, it's a little rough, definitely a Discord forum type of thing. Just move it to a marquee and then delete the picker. Yeah, I could, do, I could do that. More towers though. I don't know. I like the number of towers that we have here. I think it's, I think it's fitting. We've got two. It feels like it's enough. I don't know. All right. Well, we're going to come over here, and I am very excited to get rid of the lights on here. So that was something that was brought up on a number of occasions. Get rid of these lights. We're going to do it. So this one, I'll be into Bob. Select these. Take that floodlight and completely take the probability down to nothing. Now, this is where we're going to take that blinking light again and add this back through here. And I think that that's the appropriate one to use through here. So this is a prop. And it's this one right here, the wall mounted red warning light, or maybe not. Maybe I can go with this one right here. There we go. I think that this will do the trick. Now, the interesting thing is it doesn't seem like it's snapping in necessarily the right spot. So I'm going to need to be really careful with this and I'm going to try to find a spot. Oh, let's see. 33 miles. Anthony, have you ever? Thought of using real interstate mods in city skylines. I have not. I've never used them, but I should at some point. Probably not in this build, but maybe in Clearwater County. I think I might be using something in there actually, but it's been a while. Nicholas, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. And what? So what I'm going to do here is maybe in between the wind star and the. We'll need to pause it so it's not moving on us. The wind star and the break here. I'm going to come to the center, or maybe even. Yeah, I'd love to put it right here, but it's dropping it on the ground. So this is interesting. I think maybe where the W is, actually get it on top, but no. Where did that go? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Maybe we have to use one of these with the, okay. So this seems to work. So I don't know where that other red light went. Is it on the ground? I don't know. It's gone. <laughs> uh, let's see. Rezus. Just want to let you know how much I appreciate your channel and your builds. You're one of my favorite on the whole platform. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Is it on the ground? It is not. I think it might actually be inside. Do you see it blinking in there? It seems like it's inside. So a way that I could maybe fix this would be to place one on the ground, get it into picker and then get rid of it. Okay. I lost that one too. <laughs> so I give up. We're just going to. Pretend that never happened. And we'll put this right here. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty darn good. Oh wait, there it is. Do you see it? There it is. <laughs> I do not know how it ended up right there. Or is that a different one? I don't know. Cause this, oh no, it's on all of them. That. Oh, interesting. I never noticed it. So it is attached to all of these as well. All right. Well, that's how we know we're on the right path. So I'm just going to add these to all of these. <laughs> it's a deception. <laughs> it is. And it does look, I think this looks a ton better. So there were some things mentioned in the comments. I haven't re replied to the comments yet on the last video, but one of the things that I noticed is that I should have, or there were a number of comments saying that I should have taken some of the schools and the police station from the Seaside Resorts content creator pack and use that in Golden. So I think we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a poll about that. Again, I'll pause this so I can actually place this. But I'm curious, because I, I never know, sometimes I know, I, I'm, but I'm never sure if the comments that I'm seeing are representative of what everyone thinks or if it's uh, kind of someone going rogue, sometimes it is one person with an excellent idea, uh, but I am curious to know what you guys think. Why don't you, what do you, what do you guys think? It does seem like it's an oversight not to have the safety lights. I agree, I agree. It's interesting that the safety lights are on the power lines, but not on these. This is way taller. Can I use Bob to do it? Oh, no, no. So the floodlights are on the bottom. So if I were to bring these back, I believe, yeah, the floodlights, yeah, they're at the bottom, not the top. So that's a good thought, Banana Man, but yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work, unfortunately. So let's see. King Wing, thank you for becoming an associate planner. Appreciate that. Again, check out the community tab. There is a link to not only early release videos, which there aren't any right now, uh, but there will be this coming week, uh, so I'll talk about this a little bit. So I had the developer of Timberborn reach out to me and ask if I would be interested in them sponsoring a video for Timberborn. And I said, okay, well, what are the constraints? You know, do I have to say something because I'm not interested in that? Uh, or do I get to do whatever I want? And they said, you could say whatever you want about it. We'll sponsor the video. I said, cool. Well, do I have to release it early to you to take a look at it? And they told me, no, I can say whatever I want. So there is a new version of Timberborn out now that has a bunch of new features and they sponsored three videos. So I am going to be putting out new videos the next three Fridays. So this won't be, this will be an addition to what we've already normally got our Monday uh, our, our Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday videos. I'm going to also have uh, some Timberborn videos mixed in there. So I'm really excited and I, I really appreciate that they have decided to sponsor the videos. I don't really, I've uh, done one other sponsored video uh, from a video from a, from a developer. And that was obviously the airports DLC. So I'm uh, very excited that they reached out to me. Obviously they like the videos and I just, I'm kind of awestruck that they don't care to review the videos. <laughs> so I got, I've got free reign to say whatever I want. And uh, you better believe I'm going to say some things. <laughs> Most of them are probably going to be positive though. Cause I, 
I will I will say Timberborn is one of the most fun games that I've played in the last couple years. And it's just it's just a trip. It's a weird game. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. So I think that might be all of them. You see them on there, they're blinking, they're lighting up. I think we've got one here that we missed. And one here. So we'll grab these ones. There we go. Let's see. Qgon Quigs. My daughter has been missing your Timberborn videos. We're going to do it. So the funny thing about that is they only wanted to sponsor one video. And I said, well, I can't just do one Timberborn video. I'm going to do multiple. And, oh, I can adjust the position of the props in Bob with sliders. I did not realize that. All right. Well, just. Oh, sure enough. So let's just. I just want to see one thing. We're going to turn these off. I've already put all the lights there, but. How high could we have gone? So that is not it. It's the offset of well, the height here. So could I go and add this 60? Oh, I could have. So yeah, I could have done this. Banana Man is 120% right. So this would have been another way to do it. So we could have played with this and then shifted this over just a bit. Oh, that's such a smart way of doing it. Banana Man. <laughs> Vey, please, no more three clones of me and Timberborn again. The list of names is going to be absolutely massive. And that's one thing. I did confirm with the developers. I said, I want to use the YouTube channel members and the patrons' names inside of Timberborn. And they said, go for it. That's awesome. So, yeah, that's we're definitely doing that. Oh, man, I am super disappointed that I didn't know how to do this. But I'm also very happy because now I do know how to do this. And now you all know how to do this as well. The Bob method is nice and consistent and easy. Banana is always right, Joy. <laughs> so if you're gonna do this, do not be like me. Be like Banana Man. Banana is on it. This is absolutely the right way to do it. And this makes me think that, that boy, there are just so many possibilities. So one of the reasons I mentioned that I've been having a lot of fun in this build uh, I think art happens when you have constraints. So you have the freedom that you need to to do things, but you also have constraints. And in Verde Beach, I have so many constraints that I sometimes feel like I just can't do things. And in Clearwater County, I have no constraints. So anytime I have a problem, I'll just grab a mod, grab an asset. And in this series, I have very definitive constraints. Even bringing in this bridge felt like something major. So I like that. I really think that that is awesome. RKO, thank you so much for the super chat. Phil, big fan. Your videos got me through uh, paramedic school. Re uh, really needed your videos during those times. When are you going to add to the deep lore of CCC's EMS services to appease that part of my brain? That's a good idea. That is a good idea. So I worked in a community that had an EMS service, and uh, they were a, an integral part of the planning of the community. So, yeah, it's a good idea. We'll have, to, we'll have to do that. We'll have to do that. All right. So I, because I've already added lights on top, for the time being... No, we're doing it right. We're going to we're going to take bananas approach and I will just get rid of those ones on top. So that'll be a little, a little bit of a trip. So we'll get this here and I need to figure out the name of this. So this is warning light. So we'll search for warning. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> that is so much better. Okay, so we've got that. And now I am going to use move it to select this. Now I'm going to place one on the ground so that I can figure out my selection correctly. And this is the part I always struggle with. There we go. Light pole. Now I can delete that. So I should be able to come out through here now and just select everything here, delete. This feels super dangerous, <laughs> but, but there we go. 
Oh, we're a little bit off. I've got to lower these down a bit. So we'll bob this and then I'll get really close. And it will drop this light down to maybe 60. Two. There we go. I. It's probably as good as we're going to get it. It's a little bit off. It's because it's in this pot of four. So I don't know that there's a ton that I can do to make it better. But this is pretty darn good. So Banana Man, coming through to the rescue. I appreciate you. And I see that you are needing to take care of some knuckleheads in the in the uh, comments. So I appreciate you a lot. And it looks like Dodibot made a video. Yeah, Bob is absolutely crazy. So I'm curious. Dodibot, I want to click on this video, but it's on the wrong screen. All right. Well, there we go. This is great. And that is a much more consistent way of doing this. So I would highly recommend going this route if you're going to go this uh, and, and try something like this. So thank you so much, Banana Man. Let's do a couple of more things. And what I really want to focus on is going through and taking some of these buildings. First of all, this is a plopped building. So it has abandoned. I'm just going to reset some of these. And then we'll go through... And this is something that I think is always good to do. And that is just to go through and get rid of some of these crazy things. I hate this. This it's really this thing is the thing that bothers me more than almost anything else. And it's this 3D billboard variation. We'll get rid of that. And just, this looks so much better. So it's funny. I watched Diana's video on uh, the, the financial DLC. And she talked about the vanilla cheese. And Banana Man, you didn't take care of any knuckleheads. <laughs> I saw a bunch of comments. I thought it was you. <laughs> uh, so I, I saw your comments, Diana, about the vanilla, the vanilla cringe. And <laughs> it kind of made me laugh. It's true. The, the newest content creator pack is full of vanilla cringe. And some of the vanilla cringe is just too much to handle. This is one of them. This is one of them. Uh, <laughs> Uncle Sam Clown, I hate it. Do I have a phobia of clowns? Uh, not anymore. <laughs> As a child, I hated them. <laughs> I think if I have a phobia of anything, it is number one drowning. I, I, so growing up, we had one of those above ground swimming pools and my dad was trying to catch me to teach me how to swim and he missed me. And I remember, I remember very clearly falling to the bottom of the pool and looking forward. And I must've been, 11 and they had tried the YMCA to get me to swim and I just couldn't figure it out and so I ended up going down and then breathing in because you know that's what a little kid does that's terrified and it just made me absolutely hopelessly afraid of water so fast forward and I go to a high school that doesn't have a field house and for a quarter of the year we are in the pool because we have a pool. So uh, my football coach, because I played football for a while, uh, he, he's like, you know, calls me over, so calls me by my last name, and you know, get over here, jump in the pool. You got to float for an hour and a half because we had we were on the block schedule. So I'm in there, and I am, you know, back then, I, I think I must have been under. 15% body fat. I was, I, I was the interesting kid. I was really short with gigantic feet because I was going to get taller, but I never did. And I had no body fat, so I could not float to save my life. And, uh, I learned how to swim because my football coach was yelling at me. <laughs> so, uh, that is, that is the only reason why I know how to swim now. Um, uh, we, when my wife and I went to Greece and we went snorkeling, I, I struggled I tried. We went to Mexico the following year um, to Cabo, and uh, we tried to go snorkeling again. I I have my, I have a very big beard, and I didn't shave, so I think that's why it was kind of a struggle for me, but I still could not snorkel, and I just, yeah. So that's probably my big phobia, the other one being heights. Don't like heights. But other than that, 
pretty good. I, 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 there are very few things, things that just bug me in that particular way. Uh, phobia of not planting young lindens. I have a phobia of that. <laughs> uh, phobia is choking on small chunks of food. That's not weird. Doomer, that is terrifying. That is that, that, that would bug me too. Let's see. Do you, did any of the rest of you have any, have any, uh, any phobias? Low body fat. That's a superpower, pal. Yeah, it, it, it is a superpower. I don't have it anymore. <laughs> so I wouldn't consider myself uh, a very overweight person. But uh, I definitely... I'm not skin and bones like I used to be. <laughs> so I'm just getting rid of some of these crazy signs off the buildings, the billboards. I absolutely despise this. So I've worked in communities that have had billboards. And every planner knows where they are because they are just things that we try to get rid of. <laughs> They're impossible. They're so valuable. But you wouldn't see something like this anymore. So in a new community, maybe in a rural community, you, you might see that. But I just, I think that places have standards. And look at that. You take that billboard off and it says marketplace. Why was that billboard hiding that beautiful marketplace sign behind it? That doesn't make any sense to me. All right. Let's see. Heights. Fear of missing out, Sean says. Uh, fear of snakes. Oh, yeah, I don't like snakes either. Uh, fear of heights isn't a phobia. It's a survival trait. I agree. Uh, fear of the ocean. Oh, yeah. See that? Cockroaches. Oh, my goodness. I should have I should have said cockroaches. When I moved to L.A., I, uh, so I lived in Encino. And I remember walking from Ventura Boulevard back to my apartment and there it was night. It was one of my first nights there. And there was like a river of cockroaches flowing across the sidewalk. And I don't think I had a fear of cockroaches until I saw that river of cockroaches running across. Just horrifying. Just the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so, so maybe I'll add cockroaches to the, to the list of phobias. Because they're pretty terrible. Fear of not be, er, fear of not remembered by anyone. That, 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 I think that's fair. Uh, ridiculous fear of parasites. That's a tough one. Bees. Oh yes, I'm sorry. That that is another phobia of mine. Because of my allergy to bees, I am absolutely a baby around bees, to the point that I think. I think my father-in-law might think less of me <laughs> when he sees me around bees because I run away. So <laughs> I know that I, you know, when it's my wife and myself and we are out and about and we see a bee, I am the first one to run. Now I feel the chug from the settings. So I'm probably going to need to go into, I'll take this down a notch <laughs> We're, we don't need to be under good luck right now. It's daytime. That is the trick to making videos too. Uh, always adjust your settings for what you're doing. Um, fear of horses. So my name, my name means lover of horses. My mom's friend had horses and I hate this conversation. <laughs> I had a horse, uh, come at my head. So uh, horses are another one. Yeah. Yeah. That's another one. I don't love them. I respect them though. Uh, we uh, we had a neighborhood festival, and the police officers came in on horses, and I still go up to them. I, I want my kids. So I, I think as a parent, I my goal is to never show my fear of anything to them because the moment I show my kids that I'm afraid of something, they immediately are afraid of those same things. And I know that some of my fears are irrational, so I just try to keep it keep it to myself. Batch is afraid of, t of, of clowns. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bees are fine, but wasps are hor horrific. That's true. That's true. <laughs> spiders. My youngest daughter is that spiders. I actually had to buy some spider traps, and they haven't caught anything. But just the presence of them made her feel a ton better, like we were doing something special. Oh man, these billboards. I wish I could just wholesale eliminate the billboards from the game because like this asset looks goofy. But I take the 
billboard down. And it just looks like a run of the mill little building that you'd see. It's fine then. But all of these just crazy billboards like, no, just no. <laughs> uh, I have a fear of a discussion <laughs> about fears. <laughs> all right. Well, maybe we can, we, we can we can talk about something other than fears. Uh, what is everyone doing around the holidays? So I know that everyone celebrates different holidays. Uh, tell me what holidays you, you celebrate, if, if any. Do you celebrate Hanukkah? Do you celebrate Christmas? Do you celebrate Kwanzaa? Do you not celebrate anything? And what are you doing? For me, I am going to go to my family this weekend. And I'm really excited about that. Gonna gonna get to, to see my dad and my stepmom, my uncle. And then over Christmas, not Christmas Day itself, but uh, after Christmas, we're going to go and see my in-laws and spend the night there one night. So it'll be a lot of fun. Looking forward to that, too. So <laughs> I see a fear of the dentist. <laughs> I Yeah, I the dentist. I, eyes. That was another thing for me. I can't put contacts in. Uh, Mason, it's Hanukkah on Sunday. Solstice. Fear of being a failure to my children. I Short stack, I feel you. I feel you. Banana Man is going to Christmas, uh, going to see your cousins for Christmas, and going to Dallas. Awesome. Dan Kelly, Aussie Beach Party. Okay, that is not that is not okay. <laughs> I think after m most of the U.S. has <laughs> had a blizzard, <laughs> you Australians are not allowed to have that much fun. Uh, let's see. Sekijik, getting married. Congratulations. Congratulations. That is awesome. That is awesome. Festivus. Do you have a list of grievances, Sean? <laughs> Eric, family dinner. Might try to meet up with some friends in Wisconsin, too. Eric, that's awesome. Uh, let's see. Adria's working through Christmas. That stinks. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully, you can still get out and do some do some fun things. Uh, the Doomer's getting the itis. That, you, that's how I know you're celebrating the holidays, right? You're eating enough. That's perfect. I I am gonna I'm gonna go nuts this this uh, this Christmas. No 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 no. Whoa. Okay. Well, <laughs> this is where we were coming next anyway. But uh, watching Elf. I so Elf came up on my uh, Chromecast. It's just like wow. I gotta watch that. That's what Joy's doing. Let's see. Breakfast with Santa tomorrow, says the best friend. That's awesome. Planner Duck, good taste. What are you doing, Planner Duck? I missed it. Watching the Muppet Christmas Carol. That is a good one. That is a good one. Uh, Rusty is off this week. What is my favorite Christmas movie, at asked Batch. I'd say it's Elf. I think Elf or Home Alone. Uh, I'm trying to get my kids to like Christmas movies. It's not, it's not working well. <laughs> Uh, I know that my wife wants to go see a Christmas Carol at the Overture Center, so that's something that we are trying to do in the next week. So the Overture Center is a, a just an excellent theater in town, live, so it's where you can see a live show. We'll just reset that. It's not a big deal. <laughs> this fire's got nothing on me. I've got the power of move it. <laughs> so let's see. I wanted to check the downtown here to see what we got. Claus makes me cry every time. I don't think I've seen Claus. I saw a Christmas movie with Anna Kendrick not too long ago. That wasn't that bad. Where she becomes Santa Claus. And The Grinch, the uh, the, the the new one, that is one that uh, <laughs> Tsunami will put this out. <laughs> the, uh, the, 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 the newer Grinch movie. I know that my oldest daughter just loves it. Loves it to the point that we watch it in the middle of the summer, and I just, you know, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. National Lampoon's Christmas. Week. Oh, I should watch it. That's been a minute since I've seen that. Eyes wide shut. It's a Christmas movie. Uh, does the Sylvie have something this winter? So they have a. It's like a Wis celebration of Wisconsin. I just got an email about it. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's. I think it's a bunch of Wisconsin bands, and it's every couple of days so yeah there's something going on there but i don't know i don't know that it's anything christmas related it's the overture 
Uh, have I seen The Bad Mom's Christmas? I have not. Die Hard. That is a Christmas movie. <laughs> Ernest Saves Christmas. I haven't thought about Ernest in a long time. Rest in peace to Ernest. Uh, Sergeant Waffles. Thank you so much for swinging by. Yeah. So I apologize. There's going to be some buffering things in the beginning, but we're good at the end. We get through it. We get through it. <laughs> Bill Hates Illumination Studios. You know, I've watched the Minions movies. I... The most recent movie I went to in the theater was a Minions movie. So that whatever that most recent was, one was, it was not my favorite, <laughs> but my kids enjoyed it. So I'll, I'll just, I'll be fine with it. Scrooge is a good movie. Uh, Polar Express. I'm trying to think, was Polar Express the one that had, so my, my wife was going through all the nostalgia and I want to say, yeah, Polar Express is the movie. The review of the Polar Express. Oh, my goodness. I've got to pull this up. It is hilarious. So I saw it on the Google Home. Let's see. Uh, so let's see. Uh, where are the reviews? I gotta see this. So there was a review that basically said it was the worst movie of all time. <laughs> uh, it's a little creepy, not in an unpleasant way. Wow, Roger Ebert. Wow, that's some names I haven't thought about. Anyway, it is kind of creepy. It's kind of weird. It's fine. I think it's unpleasant. <laughs> Whatever your preference is, though. <laughs> it's one of those. That's not one of my favorite movies. That's not. That one's not one of mine. It's one of those things. It's it's where I think that in the past you get nostalgia for things that you think are, are really, really good. And then you watch it as an adult. And you're like, wow, how did I like that? <laughs> that might be one of them. <laughs> uh, Ramon, thank you so much for the super chat. Merry Christmas, Phil, bro. Name a district after me. <laughs> Let me see. I don't even, I don't know that we have any districts in here right now. Uh... Yeah, we don't have many districts right now, truthfully. So I am going to sticky note because a place that is going to be having more districts is Clearwater County. Hold on a second. I'm going to grab a pen and Ramon. I'm writing this down and I'm sticking it to my monitor. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. And it's Clearwater County. Keep an eye out. <laughs> the fire department deserves a raise or a cut, one of the two. <laughs> uh, you want the music turned down a tiny bit. I could turn the music down a tiny bit. That's fine. All right, so I want to bob through here and just make sure that we don't have any more billboards. And then I want to look at the... Ah, oh, there we go. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. The weird random ice cream and all the billboards. Yuck. Uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas, a Halloween movie or Christmas movie? Ah, oh, that's... That's a debate for the ages. I should ask my wife. That's one of her favorite movies. The Never Ending Story. Okay, talking about phobias again. Whatever that dog dragon thing is in The Never Ending Story terrified me as a kid. And it still makes my skin just crawl. I just can't get over it. <laughs> Does anyone else feel that way or is it just uh is it just is it just me? I I I legitimately cannot watch The Never Ending Story because of it. Because it's it's the bumps on that thing. I just can't stand it. Nikolai Bay need, yeah, it does need it does need a lot more stop signs. Stop signs and uh traffic signals just generally we're gonna need to have a traffic fixing episode soon. So I think I'm okay with these smaller billboards. Try that. Sometimes I can move this thing out of the way. Sometimes I can't. So let's see the smaller billboard. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that one as well. Tyler, good to see you. Good to see you, Tyler. If you guys don't know who Tyler is, Tyler designed uh, many of the logos in Clearwater County for the sports teams. So thank you so much. All of the bad little boys and girls in the chat 
will be getting new episodes of Faraday Bluffs under their tree for Christmas this year. That's what I should do. <laughs> uh, let's see. Falkor, you love him. You, you understand. Yes, Falkor. That's who it is. Falkor, absolutely. I, and I'm glad. Brian finds him off-putting as well. How could I dislike Falkor? Falkor just looks terrifying. <laughs> Batch says... You keep my boy Falkor's uh, Falkor out of your mouths. <laughs> yeah. And Vate, 9.5% body fat. Yeah, you must not be able to float at all. So I can float now. I am definitely thicker than I used to be. So I can float. No, no problems there. Look at this. Just all these signs gone. The critter. I don't see the critter. Must be on the other side. I'll live with that. Uh, okay, you know what? I like polls, and we gotta know. We got uh, here's here's the next poll. Balcor. Creepy or not? <laughs> Creepy. Not. Next poll, I want to know, am I right or am I wrong? I think Falkor is super creepy. He ruins the never-ending story for me. And when my wife wants to watch it, because that is one of her favorite children's movies, I say no, I will not watch it with my family. It's like, it's that, it's, it's that bad for me. But I want to know, maybe if, I tell you what, if the poll says not at the end of this, I will watch it with my family. <laughs> Falkor is uh, from Never Ending Story. It's the creepy dragon thing. And maybe I'm skewing the poll by calling it creepy, but I think it's absolutely terrifying. I still don't like it as an adult. Oh, look at this. 49.51 with 170 votes. So maybe I should show you guys what this is. We'll look it up. Oh. All right, so this is Falkor, and I think it's the bumps on the back that get me. I just can't. I just can't. I oh, Just looking at it, I feel my beard hairs raising. Oh, but the, now it's not. I'm seeing not coming to the... But I think that you guys are a couple seconds behind me. <laughs> Falkor Plaza. <laughs> We're not, Falkor is not getting anything named after. <laughs> yeah, this, this image right here, I'm going to have nightmares tonight because of you guys. I'm going to be, I'm going to be thinking of this when I go to bed tonight. He's a luck dragon, not creepy. He's cute. <laughs> Dark crystal. That again, that, so I watched part of the Dark Crystal with my wife. Uh, and we have the Dark Crystal book that we read to our kids. Dark Crystal, kind of creepy, but not like Never Ending Story. So it's not. Oh boy. Oh, so I have another phobia. Triophobia? Tripophobia? Tripophobia? Something like that. So it, honestly, it looks pretty evenly. <laughs> That picture looks like my grandpa. He's cute. <laughs> They're just scales. I just, no, I can't. I, we're done with this. I can't look at it. I can't look at it anymore. So, yeah, Falkor, just just, uh, just terrible. I can't, I can't do it. I'm going to get rid of a couple more of these billboards. Oh, and the, all of these things. Look at that. At least we're taking care of two birds with one stone here and getting rid of both. And so much better so here's the thing about this you got to be in a very specific spot to actually be able to move bob and i always forget where that spot is let's see i remember seeing the dark crystal when it first came out in theaters <laughs> Falkor phobia yes <laughs> that is all childhood 80s muppets what kind of popcorn do i like all popcorn although i don't eat a lot of popcorn because it gets stuck in my teeth so I, uh, it's one of those things that I honestly, I think caramel popcorn is probably my favorite, but I do not get to indulge because it gets stuck in my teeth very often. So 
I avoid it. I think for the most part, our billboard situation, yeah. Sparkly unicorn jewelry. <laughs> Goodbye. Much better. Much better. Can you imagine a city with this much, uh, this many advertisements? And there's just everywhere, every single building, every single building. I just can't. Uh, let's see. So he's not creepy, so I guess I need to watch it with my family. The Fraggles. I like Fraggles. Fraggle Rock? I mean, how, that, Fraggle Rock, that theme song. I mean, how do you not? <laughs> Hmm. What capital city in the U.S. do I think is most well designed? Oh boy, there. I, I will be honest and say that I don't know enough about all of them to render a judgment in any particular way. I think I would be. I'm too ignorant on the on the topic. Of the ones I've visited, I've I've been to a number. So that's the thing about about uh, about capital cities is they're usually master planned. And most of them are pretty good. No city has enough sparkly unicorns. Well, we need to park, not a bunch of billboards. Let's see. We need Clearwater County, Verde Beach, Nicolay Bay themed billboards for buildings. Now, if we had that, I would definitely replace them. So the Federation has put together a bunch of excellent billboards. I didn't actually bring that into these into this build. I would put those together and bring them in. And maybe I'll, I'll bring those in here. The Maryland Capitol building is the most beautiful. Oh, let's see it. Oh, uh, let's see. My little American town is littered with advertising everywhere. You need to get on your city council and get them to stop because that is a choice. And here's the thing. We live in a world where advertisements aren't just everywhere and listen i'm a youtube creator i make revenue from the from the ads and the videos it is the the deal of the internet like like it like it or not you know that's kind of the way that we do things so i get it but billboards in the built environment just i just it's just too much yes clown is gone squirrels are gone spinning little ice cream cones gone we can have the uh, yakisoba tasty noodles and the flaming ring. That's great. Natural, fresh meat. I love it. But I'm not into all the billboards all over the place. The comic shop. Sir Cuts a Lot. That's wonderful. Indie Lizard. That that feels like a brand of a place. I like that. That's fine. Just the billboards. Just can't do it. The problem is they're just everywhere. Every single asset. So I'd have to make my way through every asset, which eventually I suppose I would. <laughs> <laughs> but I think at some point, I'm just going to kind of call it on these. We're going to move over to vehicles. Ian, thank you so much for the super chat. Instead of watching the movie, read the book. It's an all-time favorite. Which one? Are you talking about the never-ending story, I'm guessing? Yes. You know, I need a good audiobook to listen to during the day. And I don't know that I've actually ever watched the never-ending story all the way through because as a kid, I was just... It was too much for me. So maybe, maybe that would be a good compromise. I bet you my wife would listen to that with me. And we do have an audible credit right now. So yeah, I like that idea. I, you know what, Ian, I might take you up on that. <laughs> uh, neon billboard, uh, neon pretty billboards. Not yes. I completely agree with you. Opal. Uh, have we done the bridge yet? Riley, yes, we have. We have done the bridge, and I am really pumped about the way it turned out. I'll, 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 for anyone who's just hopped in, I have not finished all of the bottom pillar work, but we selected this as our, uh, as our bridge towers. And I don't know what's going on with the water around here. I'll need to investigate that offline. It's happening over here, too. Maybe that's a bit of imperfection that we'll just have to live with. Do a face reveal, Ramon. Not right now. <laughs> Appreciate the super chat, but no, not right now. <laughs> uh, there have been people who've seen. It's I'm I'm out there. I'm out there. 
I feel like the name reveal is something because there are a lot of creators who just don't even know their name. <laughs> so I've got that. Uh, and then uh, the other thing that's special about this is night. So we've added the lights underneath. Now I did change my ultimate level of detail settings, but when we crank this up, we can see lights all the way up and down and I'll go one more time to show you. So this is now the way the bridge looks. It's a ton better. We added a blinky light on top so that airplanes won't hit it. We will be building an airport or two soon. So I think it's really important that we, we get that. And then the bridge heights, we adjusted the heights so that you can fit a boat underneath there. So absolutely amazing. Yeah, and yikes, 10 out of 10 water physics. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Shouldn't there be more towers in the end? I don't think it needs to be there necessarily. But yeah, I think that this is a huge improvement. This is definitely a collaboration. So we've, how can you put some lights? So we use intersection marking tool for the lights and then we used control shift G to paste it all the way down. So we ended up just going through here. Just for anyone who missed, I'll show you real quick. You come through. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's on the other side. So you draw a line and then you set it to prop and then you can choose your prop asset and then adjust the elevation down. So we shifted it underneath the road and then shifted it to the center. So it's in the center of these two roads. So absolutely excellent. Now you can see that the lights right in the center of the two bridges lights it up. We adjusted the, the distance so that they, it's not too extreme. Very fun project. I really enjoyed this. Uh, so one of the last things that I want to do is go through the cars in the build and just make sure that the cars make sense. So there are lots of kind of weird looking vehicles in the game. Not, not okay. Lots is maybe not the right way to explain it, but there's like a flower bug looking car that spawns a lot. <laughs> so there are two ways that we can handle that. I think that we have the ability to reduce the frequency of the spawn or we can just eliminate it altogether or get rid of the variations, which I think might be the route. And so the, the citizen cars are the ones I care about the most. But truthfully, I'm not seeing it. Where is it? I already got rid of it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have to do that. So it's choppy again. Huh. Not choppy for me, and I'm not seeing that we're dropping anything. Uh, is there a channel marker prop for the bridges, uh, for the passages under the bridge? I'll have to look, maybe. Maybe. I'm tired of seeing the hot dog and donut vans. Yes. So let's get rid of those. So we've got our donut van. We got, I've already got rid of the bug spray van and the hot dog van, but the donut van, we will not allow this to spawn. We'll remove all of them. So now there are no more donut vans in the community. Let's just go through these real quick. So I didn't realize that I had gotten rid of any of these, but apparently I did. So I think all of the industry buildings are fine. It's... And the funny thing is, I guess we could. So we have the police supercar. I don't think I'm going to let the supercar spawn. It doesn't feel like it fits this county. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, the Doomer. Hope you get this ITIS this holiday. Oh, the ITIS. <laughs> uh, this holiday, Phil. Yes, I, 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 I really hope I do as well. I think I'm going to get it tomorrow. Yes, RIP Donut Van. We're done with it. <laughs> Okay, okay. There's there's some sadness about the donuts. We'll leave it in the poll and I'll keep looking at the rest of these. Cuz we love we love polls today. And there we go. Donut van yes or no? Let me know. So I'm going to get rid of the supercar and I don't think there's much of anything else to get rid of. 
I guess so we have some of these new fire trucks that are great but they're they're so large and then we've got some of these so like this I'm not gonna allow that to spawn either we don't want any that that, that doesn't feel I don't think I've ever seen anything like that and truthfully I don't really like the small ambulance either we're gonna go with just the large one oh and look at that I think I think the people have spoken 169 votes so far. People hate the donut van. <laughs> so if you like, can I lower the probability? You know what? I, you know, J, J Law, I could go with that. JLA. I will lower the probability to whatever the probability for yes is. So right now it's 37%. Whatever the probability, whatever the yes percentage is, that'll be the probability of the donut van. I think that that makes sense. Uh, let's see. Ryan asks if eight, uh, eight uh, gigabytes of RAM is too little. Or maybe it wasn't. Oh, Ninja Ninja asks. You could play City Skylines on eight gigabytes of RAM if you were only going to play the base game. But if you want to start adding in DLCs and assets, content creator packs, it's going to be a brutal and and i don't know if that 120 gigabytes uh is that an is that an m.2 or is it a spinning drive i mean that's that's a tough one this is payback for full core <laughs> uh and let, let's see sarath asks if i can update the model list the model list is 97 percent up to date I need to add uh, uh, industries we balanced and what uh, uh, I need to add that bridge segment. But outside of that, I actually went through last weekend and I updated everything. So if you've been curious about what is in the build, it should be pretty close, pretty close to accurate right now. Brady says, if it's 120 gigabytes, it's surely an SSD. Maybe. I'm just thinking back to the old spinning drives. You could see 120. But I guess if it's new, yeah. Uh, let's see. Masterclass in compromise. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go. Oh, my goodness. All right. So I see 322 votes, and we're up to 41%. All right, I'm going to end it here because I don't want that percentage going up anymore. <laughs> and we are going to definitely uh, go back. Let's see. Delivery vehicles, donut van, and we are going to. Is there a way for me? to? I thought that there was. Oh. Huh. So I can't actually change it. I thought that I could. So I want uh, the other thing I could do is change the capacity, <laughs> but I don't want to do that. We'll just allow it. It's fine. We'll we can go with the donut van and get rid of the hot dog and bug spray. And we'll be fine. We do at least have the donut company, so it feels a little bit better there. The donut van is not gone, Drew. I'm sorry. It's back. <laughs> Make it not so pink. Uh, I think it actually might look a little bit worse <laughs> if it's not quite so pink. We'll give it we'll give it some lighter variations though. A couple. A white donut van. There we go. There, that's how that'll be our compromise. We've got one pink donut van, and then we've got a white one, and then a really light pink one. There we go. CP, so it's treason then, yes. <laughs> Honestly, when I see that 41% of people like the donut van, at least it's not 41% of people liking the hot dog van or the bug spray van. I don't know who could like this monstrosity, but uh, someone must. At least the person who made the model <laughs> and with that I think 
I think that we might call it. Uh, but I will take a couple of questions. If you guys have any th uh, questions about the builds or any particular recommendations, I'm going to take like two or three of them before we, before we jump off here. Uh, and then I have one more poll that I want to ask about, and this is going to be kind of a big one. We're not doing a poll for the hot dog vans. I hate those things. <laughs> so the other, all right, the, the other poll. There is currently a contest going on in the Discord. And the contest is to design a university to fit right here. I want to know if I should just design my own university uh, along with everyone else in the Discord, or if I should just take the winner of the Discord uh, uh, university design competition and import that into the build here. So I'm going to put up a poll. Should I import the competition winner, their university design into here? Can we do a poll for the poll? <laughs> yeah. uh, Nicolay buffs, bl uh, bluffs when uh, we are going to have to do that. Uh, what mods don't work after the new update? I can't get my old saves. I'm honestly not sure. I haven't gone into Clearwater County. One of the reasons I didn't want to put out a video for that this week is just I need to work on that. No, there's no Clearwater County episode tomorrow, unfortunately, because I just I haven't had the time to go in and sort out the mod situation. And I know that it's going to be a situation. So, yes, but I get to modify it. So should I import discord university winner into my bay okay so here's the poll and the question is how do you submit a university there is i i think that you're free to kind of do whatever you want with the university so the, the reason why it's Nicolay Bay is in Nicolay Bay, you could play without, basically, I think the only DLC that you need is transit, mass transit. And that's really because of the toll booths. Uh, this channel is not active, has been playing heavily modded, no issues. Good. That's good to know. Uh, import could go wrong if their design leads, uh, leans on mods too much or something. Yeah. So if like no mods that's that's the deal like no mods we're not doing mods for this only the things that are actually in the mod list for nikolai bay so if so this is actually not a very large place it's it's and if you take a look like let's look at let's look at some university assets just for kicks oh, i can't without actually laying it out um so the Federation actually put one together just to see how this space worked because he and I were going back and forth on a couple of ideas and I've already got ideas for parts of this and I've already built some things out that I'm, I'm testing, but this area right here is always seemed like an excellent spot for university. So, uh, let's see. Complay production says that when you click on move it, the game instantly crashes. That sounds like you have some older mod and i'm wondering if it's i know that some mods have been having issues with harmony so that could be if you have an issue with harmony um that could be another mod causing a conflict billboard design university <laughs> uh sager couldn't load all uh couldn't load the game with mods on had to disable all that stinks so it looks like Folks are incredibly interested in importing the design window. That said, there's 1,111 people in here right now and only 276 votes. So I'm going to wait till we have a, a few more. And Banana Man recommends if you have a broken save, use compatibility report or go into uh, and it'll help you solve your issues. I agree with that. I agree with that. So the trade school, if you want to do this, so hop on the discord. There is a, uh, a design competition currently ongoing. And I'm definitely interested. I, I think I'm pretty satisfied. 75, 25, we will import whoever wins the design competition. I will take, move it. 
copy your little area. So I, I the, the big thing I would hope is don't terraform a ton. Like, I, like don't extend this off into the water and do some crazy stuff. Try to work within the area that's here that's natural. And, you know, obviously you can smooth stuff like this out if you want. And we will uh, get to your university. Whoever wins, I will take it right in here. Uh, join the Discord. And there is a link to the Discord. Banana Man's been posting it throughout here. It's also linked on the main channel plates. Yeah, there we go, Banana Man. Discord.gg slash City Planner plays. And yeah, the voter apathy is real. <laughs> this is like a midterm election. <laughs> uh, input, but do a fill edit. I will, I mean, I will likely have to make small modifications to make it fit in, but I'm completely fine with bringing something in. The population has dropped by 500. That's probably just the natural ebb and flow. Truthfully, I think that we gained not too long ago. So uh, in the previous episode because of this, so not that big of a deal, but I think that we are going to leave it here. I, and I want to tell you guys, I've absolutely had a blast. We've been on here for almost three hours and it feels like time has melted by for me. I appreciate each and every one of you that gave a super chat, each and every one of you that talked and just had random conversations. Honestly, this is why I love streaming and why I know that some folks prefer videos to streaming and I will never, I promise you that I will always make videos, but it's nice for me personally sometimes to supplement the videos with streams because I get to interact with you guys. I get to think and be collaborative and experiment and do wild things and just have a lot of fun. And for me, that's what this is all about, the community aspect. And I've been missing that a lot lately. So this for me uh, was kind of refreshing for the soul, if you, if you will. So I am going to get off here and wrap some presents because I have a bunch to wrap. I've got my, uh, my dad's present. I actually got him. I don't think he's watching. <laughs> So I got him a, a, a two unit, a two bay Synology drive because I've been obsessed with Synologies lately. And uh, he has, he's been using these, these old Western digital drives and he has Plex on his computer and I, I'm, I'm excited to get him set up on that. So I'm going to wrap that and uh, get it, get it going. And I got my, my sister, a, and she's not watching either. I'm guessing I got her a Yeti wine glass and a, a bottle of uh, some wine. So I've got to get those wrapped. It's going to be a lot of fun. So Anyway, thank you all so much for joining. Uh, we are going to take this out the way that we have to. There's only one way. So we are going to zoom into the bridge. And we've got to play Cats Walking, obviously. So I'll get that going. And I won't screw it up this time. Ryan, thank you so much for the for the uh, super chat. You're the real MVP. You're the real MVP. Uh, G, have a good night. Thank you so much. 11 months of being an associate planner. You are absolutely amazing. Joy, thank you for being here the entire stream. Really appreciate you. Thank you to all the content creators, all of the uh, active channel members. I really appreciate every last one of you. Let's go through. I'm going to find cats walking. No results. All right. I've got to do a little bit of magic to get cats walking working because apparently in my music list on, I use a Vox on my Mac and it's not in here here we go get this going there we go oh that's that's the stuff right there and now we'll pause this game speed to three ish All right, thank you so much for joining me, everyone. If you enjoyed this stream, please hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Here we go. Take care. Bye-bye.